I'm Barbara Dixon and this is Anna Belcher and we're with Southern Bancor Bank. Southern is a different kind of bank. Um, we are a designated community development financial institution and our main focus, our mission is to be involved in and serve the community. And um, what makes us different is we offer traditional banking services, but we also offer other services um, that help strengthen our community to teach them financial literacy and to help them um, to build credit, understand credit, and to uh, make good, wise choices. Some of the programs we offer, we have a learning center that covers everything from savings to loans to small business, housing. There's also a section of that uh, website that is designated for youth that's broken up by age groups so you can get um, financial literacy information for your children on that website. There's a section for senior citizens as well. Um, we also offer free credit review. We will help you pull your free credit report, go over it with you, give you the resources to review it and to know what to look for. We offer a credit builder CD loan to help you start building credit history or to improve your credit history. We also offer free counseling services, whether you want to just do a budget or just ask questions, uh, that service is free and it's all free to customers and non-customers alike. We offer free home ownership counseling services. We offer free income tax preparation through the VITA program. It's a voluntary income tax preparation assistance program. And for consumers who qualify, we prepare their taxes free. We will be doing that right here in the Locksburg branch. A lot of what uh, Southern does is they try to strengthen the community, it, the businesses and individuals a lot. And we are considered our, one of our models is to be wealth builders for everyone. And one of the primary ways we start that is by teaching savings habits. And Anna is going to tell you a little bit about some of those. We have a few savings products that's going on right now. One is our Roundup Savings. Every time you use your debit card, you can either round up to the next dollar amount or you can round up a, a certain dollar, whether it's one or five, just whatever is convenient for you. And we also have what is called an app that you can download and the app is called Envy. And it is a savings game. It's a hundred days process and you determine how much you want to save in 100 days and every day that you go into the app you open the envelope and it may transfer a dollar it may transfer two dollars whatever is in that envelope on that app that day is how much it transfers your savings account we also have what we call a CD credit builder loan if you are just starting out and getting credit or you have just graduated from school and you're having a hard time uh, getting credit because you have no credit score or even if you've had past uh, negative credit, then you can come in and we can start you out with credit of, of a CD loan and that also gives you a CD. When you pay your loan off, that CD is your money. And Southern uh, believes in Sevier County. We believe in empowering our community and we are thankful to be here in Sevier County and we look forward to serving Sevier County and the people in this community for years to come. My name is Melissa Lutz. I am an ESL instructor here in Adult Ed on the DeQueen campus. We offer English as Second Language classes, citizenship classes, and also help students pass the GED in order for them to get their high school equivalency diploma. Our English classes are dynamic. They're designed to build students' skills in reading, writing, speaking, and listening. We offer classes in four different levels, so from basic beginner all the way through to advanced. And within our English classes, students are learning digital literacy skills, employability skills, financial, health literacy, and civics. Our students come to us for many different reasons. They take English classes for personal enrichment, uh, to prepare for college, to better communicate with family members, their children in English, and um, to just feel more comfortable speaking English in the community. We also offer uh, career English classes through a program called Burlington English. 
so students can study English specific to the career that they wish to pursue or the English specific to the job they have right now. So for example, if an ESL student wishes to go into nursing, we have a course specific for nursing with medical vocabulary, soft skills, uh, real life interactive uh, um, scenarios, and all this helps them to prepare for that career. And we offer over 180 specialized career courses through this program. So we're really excited that we can offer that. Um, our citizenship classes um, prepare students for their reading, writing, um, and oral and civics tests. We conduct mock interviews so that students can get a real feel for what their naturalization interview will be like and, and feel a lot more confident going in. We also help students um, pass their GED test um, so that they can go to college or get a better job. And what many people don't know is we offer this in Spanish too. They can take their GED test in Spanish also and we can help them do that. So whether students need to learn English, improve their English, um, get their GED, pass their GED, prepare for citizenship, please come see us, we can help you. Not only here on the DeQueen campus, but also in Ashton, Nashville, and we have an instructor in Amity, um, so that's the Glenwood area also. So please come see us. And I'd like to introduce two of our students and get their personal thoughts on how our services has, have helped them. Hi, my name is Dulce Herrera, and I want to tell you how attending the adult school and taking English as a second language has benefited me. The most important benefit that English classes have given me is being able to have better communication with my children. Now I know what they talk to each other about. I know what kind of TV programs they watch and if they have age-appropriate language for them. I can also help them with their homework now. Another benefit that English classes have given me is related to my business. This is supported by my Latino race, and I'm so grateful for that. But now, thanks to English, my business is expanding with other culture, and in turn, I'm making new friends. I love reading books. I have read many books in Spanish, but now I have I started reading books in English and that filled me with pride because it's a dream come true. I'm sharing this because I want you to also enjoy the benefits that learn another language bring. There are classes for different levels of English and different schedule. If you can come in the morning, maybe you can come in the afternoon. And if you can attend the classes, they have computers, programs to learn English. If you have computer at home, you can do it from home. The famous person said, fear is the barrier between who you are and who you could become. My name is Beatriz Cervantes. As an immigrant wife and mother, it's difficult to obtain an academic education. Personally, I told, I would fail and became intimidated with that idea. The main reason for my fear and intimidation was I didn't speak English. I couldn't even put three words together. However, this changed when I made a decision to attend UA Gossetel Adult Education. I love my English classes. Now, I feel a lot motivated and accomplished thanks to adult education and the support of my family. I was able to accomplish so much in the program. Here, there are um, great resources and amazing instructors that provide us the tools and means to accomplish our goals. I have several goals. I'm going to improve my English, get my GD, and prepare for college. The best part of 
UAC Adult Education is it's free. Do I? Yeah. Kind of nice, ain't it? Well, there you have it. We have our starting lineups, and we're set to get underway. Bank of Larksburg Historic Gymnasium with the Colts. Lady Colts get set to take on the Lady Pioneers of North Ark. Both these teams looking for a conference victory tonight. North Ark 0-2 in conference. Lady Colts 1-2, and, and the difference being they both supposed to play South Arkansas. UA Costadon's got it as a win on their schedule in nothing as far as North Ark is concerned. So the opening tip is controlled by the Lady Colts and bringing the ball into the front court. That's Carmela Hayden. She'll work it left side to Samaya Smith. Smith deep in the corner. Gets it down to Jarrett Cotton. Back up top. Carmela Hayden directing traffic here. 
10 seconds on the shot clock, gets it left wing. Kayla Fuller, Fuller up top, way out front, Samaya Smith, right side as Hayden drives, has to get rid of it. And the shot clock expires, ball goes out of bounds, turnover Lady Colts. Good defense that time for the Lady Pioneers. Lady Pioneers with a basketball. Into the front court. That's Abby Linville. Linville tries to work it inside. Ball slapped away and a collision up top. And we'll see who they call this one on. They're both going for the basketball. I think they're going to call it on Carmela Hayden. Hayden got the worst of that collision and she also gets the personal foul. Inside the lane, ball stolen away by Amari Morrison. She'll get it ahead to Carmela Hayden. Hayden will direct the traffic. And we've got a whistle out front. Whistle, turnover Lady Colts. Then we'll bring it the other way. Lady Colts, two turnovers here in the early going. Lady Pioneers work it right side on the wing. Dietschy works it left side, shot put up, 12 footer. Nice stroke that time on the part of Abby Dietschy. She gets the first two. Lady Pioneers break out on top, two zip. Left side, Carmela Hayden tries to attack and we've got a whistle. Personal foul gonna be called against Abby Linville, Linville called for the personal foul. That's her first, first team foul against the Lady Pioneers. Lady Colts will put it in play underneath their own basket, tries to get it in and ball stolen away by Dietschy. Dietschy on the run and Dietschy is gonna be tripped by Amari Morrison. Morrison with that sprained ankle. Dietschy also gets up a little, looks like that right elbow giving her some trouble. She hit the court hard. Morrison got that foot tangled up with Dietschy. Morrison has had trouble with that ankle for the past couple of months, and she's coming out of the out of the ball game. Mari certainly didn't want to, want that to happen. As Kyler Hardy checks in for the first time tonight, and the Lady Pioneers will make the inbounds pass. They'll get it into Fry. Ball stolen away. Coming the other way with it. Samaya Smith fires it ahead. Kayla. Fuller puts it up, can't get it to go, and the rebound's gonna be pulled down by the Lady Pioneers. They'll fire it ahead, going all the way Fry, high off the glass and good. Haley Fry with a basket, her first two. And North Park breaks on top four zip. Big crowd of kids here tonight from Ashdown Elementary Schools. There's a three-pointer on the way. Off the glass and good by Carmela Hayden. She gets a three. That breaks the ice for the Lady Colts. 4-3. North Ark on top. 7.35 play, first quarter. Ball almost stolen away by Kyler Hardy, and it will be a turnover as Hardy disrupted the ball handling that time. That resulted in a turnover. Ball goes out of bounds across the way, and the uh, Lady Colts will put it in play in front of all those Ashdown school kids over there. With a basketball. That's Carmela Hayden. Goes around the screen, and she's going to be fouled by Fry. Fry trying to close the gap. Got her with the body. Haley Fry called for her first. That's two team fouls against the Lady Pioneers. Lady Colts will put it in play on the baseline. Trailing 4 3, 7 21 to go first quarter. Collision as Samaya Smith finds herself all alone out there. Air ball is going to be hauled down by the Lady Pioneers. Coming the other way with it is Cameron Sutterfield. Averages 10 points a game for the Lady Pioneers. Maybe the first time she's touched the ball tonight. She tries to get it inside, kicks it out to Dietschy for three, rattles it around, and it goes down. Abby Dietschy with five. Lady Colts down. 7-3. Hayden has it. She'll take the long three-pointer. That one will not go. The rebound, Jerry Cotton getting in there to tie it up. And on the alternating possessions, the arrow pointing to North Arc. 
Sutterfield will make the inbounds pass. Lady Colts will set up a little bit of full court pressure. Try to pick up the pressure as they approach mid court. In the backcourt, that's Dietschy. Actually, that is uh, Sutterfield. Sutterfield out front, fires up the three. That's Abby Linville, her shot no good, but a whistle and the ball will stay with the Lady Colts. Fuller gets it in to Smith. Samaya across the midcourt stripe. Gets it up top to Hayden. Carmela Hayden works it up top. Left wing, looking inside. Now kick it back out to Fuller for three. Off the front of the iron, no good. The rebound's gonna be chased down by Hayden. Carmela backs it back out. Out to the NJCAA emblem. <coughs> Working up top, nine seconds on the shot clock. Shot at the, or the uh, pass at the free throw line to Hardy. Gets it to Fuller. Fuller lost her balance. Stayed with the play. Got the basket. Fuller with the basket. Give Hardy the assist. Lady Coach steal it, come the other way. As Hayden shot, no good, and the rebound's gonna be pulled down by Dietschy. She'll work it ahead to Bethany Richardson. In the corner, three-pointer on the way. No, rebound. Picked up by Dietschy, and she's gonna be called for the double dribble inside the lane. Fuller will make the inbounds pass. As into the ball game for the first time tonight will be Lil Compton. That's Lily Compton. Up top, Smith gets it to Cotton at the free throw line. Bounce pass back out to Hayden. 13 seconds on the shot clock, directing traffic out there on the right wing. She'll get it up top. Back over to Fuller on the left wing. Six seconds on the shot clock. Way long three-pointer by Samaya Smith. Buries it. Big three that time for Samaya. Lady Colts take the lead, 8-7. Under five minutes to play first quarter. Nice move on the baseline that time. Sutterfield gets the basket. That'll be Cameron's first two of the night. 9-7 North Arc. Biggest crowd tonight in the history of the Colts program. A long three-pointer on the way, won't go by Fuller. And let's see, out of bounds, ball last touch by the Lady Colts. Triggering that inbounds pass will be Lily Compton. Lady Colts looking to pick up the pressure at midcourt. Put a little, little pressure in the backcourt, but They'll work it down court. Oh, getting in there and tying up that basketball. There was Jarrah Cotton and Carmela Hayden. And with a double team, Carson Edwards had no place to go. Jump ball, the call. Possession arrow points to the Lady Colts. And here comes Carmela Hayden across the horse he had at midcourt. Left side. That's Fuller. Kayla shook, fakes the three. Actually faked a pass inside. Now they'll kick it right side. Out on the wing. That's Hayden. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Hayden wants to attack, goes inside, goes strong, can't get the shot to go. There's Kyler Hardy with a rebound. She can't get it to go. North Arc with a size advantage inside and coming away with it will be Carson Edwards. They'll fire it inside to Dietschy. Ball stripped away. And a whistle and a foul will be called against Dietschy, I believe. And Dietschy will come out and checking in in her place will be Kaylee Patrick. Patrick, a freshman guard for the uh, Lady Pioneers. Up top, that's Kayla Fuller. Fuller works at left side, Samaya Smith. Back to Fuller. Fuller tries to go around the screen. Nice double team that time. Up top, three-pointer on the way. Good. Top of the key. That's Carmela Hayden, second three of the night. She's got six points. Lady Colts back on top, 11-9. They'll work it down low. Inside, Paul stolen away momentarily by Hayden. Picked right back up by Sutterfield. They'll fire it out for the three out of bounds. Air ball as Zoe McGee was open that time. May have been too open. Sometimes you gotta have a hand in your face. Ball goes out of bounds. Lady Colts get it back. On top, 11-9. So far tonight, it's been the perimeter shooting of the Lady Colts who have hit three threes so far. 
against the inside strength of North Arc. Three-pointer on the way by Fuller won't go. Grabbing that rebound is Carson Edwards. North Arc, get it up top. They'll work it left wing. Sutterfield pulls up from 14. In and out, no good. Rebound comes off. Kyler Hardy fires it ahead to Hayden. Hayden looking at a one on three. She'll back it back out. Lady Colts get back. I was only seeing seven Lady Colts in the lineup tonight. North Arc should have the, the numbers advantage when it comes to just bodies to be able to put in and get a rest for people at the free throw line. That's Hardy working. Goes strong to the basket. She's going to be fouled. And we'll see if they, if they call it inside or outside. No, it's going to be the inside player going to be called for that. Carson Edwards. Edwards picks up the personal foul. Third team foul against the Lady Pioneers. Lady Colts have had some trouble at the free throw line. I think they're third. Am I mistaken? I think they're third in, uh, in Division II in uh, number of free throws shot per game. They're way down the list in free throws made. As that one is up and in by Kyler Hardy. Hardy gets her first point of the night. Lady Colts shooting like 57% at the free throw line. While uh, North Arc, you don't want to get in a free throw shooting contest with them. They're coming in shooting 73% as a team. Second shot. Hardy won't go. Rebound comes off to North Arc. Up by, down by three, 12-9. 2.05 to play first quarter. Edwards has it up top. Ah, nice, nice defense that time by Jarrah Cotton. Took an elbow in the chest that time from Zoe McGee. McGee called for the personal, that's her fourth. Or actually not her fourth, but the team fourth. And uh, the uh, clock, the scoreboard showing that's the fifth team foul. So I missed one somewhere, which does happen. They're saying that's the fifth team foul Okay, player control foul, so the ball will stay. Lady Colts will not shoot a free throw here, but they'll have the basketball. Hayden across the midcourt stripe. Gets it to Fuller, Fuller guarded closely over there. Good defense that time by Kaylee Patrick. Lady Colts back up top. Hayden's had a couple of threes so far tonight. Fuller will fire up the three, that's her spot. Can't get it to go, the rebound. Gonna be pulled down by the Lady Colts. Kiana Holly's checked in the lineup for the Lady Colts. Up top, Holly with it. Gets it right side to Hayden. Six seconds on the shot clock. Out to Jarrett Cotton for the three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Dietschy. Actually, that's Cameron Sutterfield. The other tall blonde in the lineup, yeah. Here come the uh, Lady Pioneers up top. They'll work it right side. Trying to attack down low on the baseline. I think Cotton's going to be called for the personal foul. May have been crowding her a little too tightly. <laughs> so Jerry Cotton's going to be called for the personal foul. That'll be her first. Third team foul against the Lady Colts at the free throw line. Shot on the way, no good by Zoe McGee. And again. Lady Pioneers don't miss too many free throws. Second shot up and in. Each team now one out of two at the free throw line tonight. Lady Colts lead it by two, 12-10. Under a minute to play, first quarter. Driving into the lane, putting it up, whistle, foul, and a blocking foul is gonna be called against Kaylee Patrick. That time Hayden Got inside, drew the foul. She'll head to the free throw line. And she'll shoot a couple right here. Carmella Hayden at the free throw line. Sends it on the way, up and in. Lady Colts up by three. Seven points in the ball game for Carmella Hayden. Over half the Lady Colts off the fingertips of Carmella. Hayden will have another one coming here. Sends it on the way, and it is off the back of the iron. No good. And that rebound pulled down by North Arc. Zoe McGee with the rebound. Lady Colts get back defensively. Out front, Kaylee Patrick with it. She'll work it on the left wing. 
Deep in the corner. Looking inside, Sutterfield puts it up in the end. Nice play that time. They cleared out, Sutterfield found the lane, got inside, got the basket. Lady Colts lead down to one, 13-12. 25 seconds remaining, first quarter. There's about a one and a half second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Kenna Holly gets it over to Fuller. Fuller gets it right back to Holly after it's tipped. Back out to Fuller for three, in there! Big, big three that time. Kayla Fuller gets her first trifecta of the game. Lady Colts on top by four. One second, shot on the way. It'll be good if it goes in, and it does! Big three that time by Kaylee Patrick at the buzzer. After one quarter of play, our score, Lady Colt 16, North Arc 15, back and after this from Coca-Cola on N88radio.com. When I heard the thunder, I could feel the rain It's a turn to me, just different Big, big crowd tonight. The Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium. Ashdown School sending a slew of kids over here. There must be 200 of them up here tonight. And they've been, they've been treated to a good basketball game thus far. Lady Colts on top, 16-15 after one quarter of play. Second quarter begins. North Arc with the basketball. They'll work it in the corner. Fire it back out on that left wing. Up top. Driving through the lane. Shot put up in him. Nice give that time as Carson Edwards gets the basket. Zoe McGee with the assist. Ed North Arc regains the lead at 17-16. Lady Colts. Carmela Hayden working out on the wing. Gets it back right side. Deep in that corner. Amari Morrison back in the lineup. Nice steal that time by Sutterfield. Here come the Lady Pioneers attacking inside the lane. Loose ball out of bounds, last touched by the Lady Colts. Kiana Holly trying to get over there and save that basketball in bounds, but uh, ball goes out of bounds. And the Lady Pioneers will have it. Shot put up and in. I believe that was Edwards with the basket. Carson has four points in the ball game now. We've got a timeout on the court. 9.05 to play, first half. Our score, Lady Colts trail it. 19-16 back in a moment on NADA Radio. Hi, I'm Barbara Dixon, and this is Anna Belcher, and where we're... Falls around the corner, and so is your Husqvarna dealer. Husqvarna is known for high-performing, durable, and innovative products. So is it any wonder why your Husqvarna dealer is the best in the business at what they do? Providing products, maintenance, parts, and accessories whenever and wherever you need them. With a nationwide network of dealers, you don't have to go far. Visit Husqvarna.com to find a dealer or retailer near you. Ah, to the chance of let's go Colts. Lady Colts have the basketball as we resume action here in the second quarter. After that UAC timeout, Hayden out on that left wing. Working out there, backs it back out. She'll work it left wing to Fuller. Kayla gets it down on the baseline to Amari Morrison. Morrison bounce pass off the leg of Sutterfield. And let's see here. They're gonna put 20 seconds back on the shot clock. Kyler Hardy's gonna check in. Morrison's gonna get a breather. Samari Smith checks in. Uh, Samaya Smith, that is, checks in. 
And Carmella Hayden comes out for the Lady Colts. So it's Cotton, Fuller, Holly, along with Hardy and Smith in the lineup for the Lady Colts. They get in, shot underneath. Holly was a little too far when she put that one up, but she drew the foul. Personal foul gonna be called on Lily Compton. That'll be her first. Holly at the free throw line, looking for her first points of the night. 8.37 to play first half. Lady Colts basketball on 8.88. Being brought to you by Huss Barnes. That first free throw is up in the end. Again, Holly gets her first point of the night. Lady Colts is a team, three out of five at the free throw line. Two point lead right now for North Ark. Holly's second shot on the way, and it is in and out, no good. <laughs> As we said, Lady Cole shooting at a 57% clip at the free throw line, whereas Northar comes in, one of the nation's leaders in free throw shooting. Sutterfield goes inside, gets it to Dietschy. She'll fire it right back out again. Three-pointer on the way, won't go, but she's going to be fouled by Kayla Fuller. Fuller's going to be called for the personal foul. And heading to the free throw line to shoot three will be Kaylee Patrick. Free throw. Up and good by Patrick. She's got four points in the ball game. Make it five. She hit that big three pointer right there at the close of that first quarter to make it uh, cut that Lady Colts lead down to one. And now she gets three free throws. She's got six points and Lady Colts find themselves down by five, 22-17. Long three pointer on the way by Samaya Smith won't go. As Kayla Fuller gets a rare rebound inside tonight. Can't get that shot to go. I'm telling you, Lady Pioneers work those boards. They'll work it out on that left wing. That's Patrick with it. Patrick fires it inside. Sutterfield driving through the lane, whistling a foul. Blocking foul is going to be called, and they may get Jera Cotton for this. Nope. Actually, the personal foul is actually going to be on Kyler Hardy. Hardy call for the personal foul. That's her first. Heading to the free throw line for the Lady Pioneers will be Zoe McGee. McGee one out of two at the free throw line tonight. Shot on the way, won't go. As a team, Lady Pioneers four out of six at the free throw line tonight, a little bit off their season average. Second shot, up and in. Zoe now with two points in the ball game. Lady Colts trail by six, 23-17. Long three-pointer by Samaya Smith. No. Rebound pulled down by Patrick, Kaylee Patrick of the Lady Pioneers. Ah, nice steal that time by Kayla Fuller. Kind of lured her to sleep, put a hand up, gets the basket, puts the shot up. They count the basket, charging foul. First, I thought they were going to call a block, but instead that is a foul against Kayla Fuller. That's going to be her second. Well, getting in there, taking that charge was uh, Kaylee Patrick. Lady Pioneers have it. They'll work it, free throw line to Dietschy. Dietschy puts it up from 12 feet, can't get it to go, rebound underneath, won't go. Whistle and a foul. And Zoe McGee's going to the free throw line. <laughs> Jarrah Cotton call for the personal, that's her second. Lady Colts starting to amass a few fouls and with only seven players on the roster tonight. That's not good. At the free throw line, shot put up and in by Carson Edwards. That's her first free throw of the night. She's got five points in the ball game. Second shot on the way, it's good. Looks like uh, Edwards is gonna check out of the lineup and checking in in her place will be uh, Haley Fry back in the lineup. Hayden has it, she'll work it out front. 
to Hardy. Hardy to Holly. Holly bounce pass over to Cotton. Ball almost stolen away. Picked right back up by Jarrah. She'll get it out on the wing to Hayden. Hayden working around the screen. Gets it back out to Hardy. Kyler lobs it inside looking for Amari Morrison. Morrison can't control that pass. Again, that leg is awfully tender for Morrison. They're working inside. Dietschy gets it right back out again into the hands of Patrick. Kaylee working out there against Morrison. Back out on the right wing. They'll fire it back out. Shot on the way. Off the iron, no good. And the rebound is going to be pulled down by Dietschy across the way. Loose ball picked up by the Pioneers. They'll work it out front for three in there. Good ball movement that time by the Lady Pioneers as Lily Compton knocks down the three and the Lady Colts find themselves down by 11. First double digit lead of the night. Shot on the way, one go and the rebound pulled down by the Lady Colts. Jared Cotton, good hustle that time. Bounce pass inside, looking for Morrison. Morrison goes down hard on the court. And the personal foul is gonna be called against Haley Fry, that's her second. Morrison playing on a really sore ankle out there. I think has plagued her since early in the season. Taking a couple of hits on it already tonight. Out front. Carmella Hayden. She'll back it back out. Works it left side. Deep in the corner to Cotton. Cotton on the dribble. Gets it back out to Hardy. Hardy wants to attack. Goes in strong. Puts it up in the end. Kyler Hardy with a basket. Lady Colts down by nine, three-pointer on the way. Wow. Shot on the way by Dietschy up and in. Dietschy now with eight points in the ball game, her second three-pointer of the night. Abby and the Lady Pioneers on top by a dozen, 31-19. In the corner, that's Cotton working against Dietschy. Cotton tries to go inside. Oh, nice give underneath. Shot put up and in by Morrison. Good play that time by Jara Cotton. Personal foul is going to be on Haley Fry, and I think that's her third. Dietschy comes out, checking in at her place, will be Cameron Sutterfield. At the charity stripe will be Amari Morrison. Morrison, that's her first two of the night. It's be her first free throw of the evening. Lady Colts on down by 10, 31-21. Down by nine now with that made free throw. Morrison's gonna get a breather here. Fuller checks back in. So it's Fuller, Holly, Hayden, Hardy, and Cotton in the lineup. Flashing to try to make the steal was Fuller. Got in the passing lane, but couldn't quite come up with that loose basketball as it goes out of bounds. They'll inbound it in front of the Lady Colts bench. Basketball up top in the hands of Sutterfield. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Lady Pioneers work it, left wing. Oh, nice give inside the lane. Shot is up and in, but that's gonna be a charging foul against North Ark. Charging foul gonna be called against Lily Compton. That's gonna be her third personal foul. I, no, I take that back. Scoreboard showing only two, okay. Hayden has it, Lady Colts. Down by nine, looking to cut into that lead. Fuller gets it to Hardy. Hardy off the dribble. Gets it back to Hayden. Hayden thought about the three. Instead gives it to Hardy. Hardy gets it to Fuller. Fuller wants to get rid of it. Gets it to Hardy in the corner. Two seconds on the shot clock. Three-pointer on the way by Fuller. Won't go. The rebound is going to be pulled down by Kaylee Patrick. Patrick will walk it across the timeline. Under four minutes to play first half. North Ark on top, 31-22. Sutterfield tries to drive down low, shot put up no good, but she's gonna be fouled in the act of shooting. She'll shoot two, and that personal foul is gonna be on Kyler Hardy. Hardy's second personal foul. And at the free throw line will be Haley Fry. Fry to shoot two, the first one's all the way good. As a team, 
The uh, Lady Pioneers eight out of 10 at the free throw line tonight. Second shot goes in. Haley now with four points. Lady Colts have the basketball. Trailing by double digits again, 33-22. Three and a half minutes to go, first half. First of two tonight at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gym. Great basketball atmosphere tonight with all those Ashdown School students here tonight in support of the Colts. You can hear the chants in the background, let's go Colts. As Fuller tries to go inside, loose ball gonna be picked up by the Pioneers, but the ball goes out of bounds, last touched by uh, North Ark, but they're gonna say the shot clock went off before the ball went out of bounds. So Lady Colts will turn it over. North Ark gets it back. Leading 33-22, 3.11 to go, first half. Patrick brings it across the midcourt stripe. Gets it inside. Sutterfield has it. They work it to Fry. Nice turnaround shot inside the lane. Nice step, strong move to the basket. Zoe McGee, four points in the ball game. Her first two-pointer of the night. Lady Coles find themselves down by 13 and uh, on the drive, Carmela Hayden's gonna be fouled. And we'll see. Personal foul is gonna be called against Lily Compton. That's gonna be her third. And at the free throw line for the Lady Colts will be Carmella Hayden. Hayden, one out of two at the free throw line tonight. She's got seven points in the ball game. That free throw to go along with a couple of threes tonight. Shots on the way, off the back of the iron, no good. As we said, Lady Colts have had their struggles at the free throw line this season, shooting 57% at the charity stripe. Tonight, they're four out of eight. Hayden's second shot on the way. It's no good. With the way Hayden's been shooting three, she may need to back up a couple of feet on that line to shoot that. North Ark with it. Out on the wing. They'll pick up the loose ball, that's Patrick. Kaylee. Now they'll work it back out front. Ball punched away, loose ball is gonna be picked up by Carmela Hayden. Hayden wants to drive, gets inside the lane, she'll pull it back out again. Carmela will set the offense with 2.20 to go first half. Holly fires up the three. Kiana's shot will not go. And that rebound is gonna be pulled down by Lily Compton. They'll work it down low, inside. Now they'll fire it right back outside again as Patrick puts it up and in. Kaylee Patrick, her second three of the night, she's got nine points. As the Lady Colts bring it the other way. Nice pass down court as Cotton gets it ahead to Kiana Holly, and Holly gets the basket. She's got three points. Lady Colts down by 14, 38, 24. Out behind the arc. They'll work it left side into the hands. In the corner, three point won't go, and that rebound is gonna go out of bounds off one of the Lady Colts. Both Holly and Fuller were there. Neither one can control it, the ball goes out of bounds over to the Lady Pioneers. Clydeci's gonna check back in. Also checking in will be uh, Carson Edwards for the Pioneers. Pass inside, tipped away. Picked up by Hardy. Hardy fires it ahead to Fuller. Fuller working inside, and a charge is gonna be called on Fuller. Fuller can't believe it. She thought maybe a flop was in order. And I think Coach Stan is arguing that very same point on the other end. He might have a point. Tell you what though, the officials did a great job tonight. They're very much in control of a game in which a couple of teams here really looking for a conference victory right here. Only four teams make the conference tournament. And with a couple of losses already, both of these teams, what is it they say on the bubble early on? Pioneers fired inside. Cotton got a hand on it, comes out of there with it. Jarrah gets it ahead to Fuller. Fuller wants to run, pulls up from 14. Can't get it to go. That rebound comes off to Hayden, puts it up in traffic. I don't think she really thought she had a shot at making it. She's trying to draw that foul, and she did. 
That's going to be on Abby Linville. Linville call for her second. And at the free throw line will be Carmella Hayden. As Kayla Fuller comes out and Samaya Smith checks back in. At the free throw line will be Carmella Hayden. She's one out of four at the charity stripe tonight. Carmella sends it on the way. That one's good. Lady Colts trail it, 38-25. Just under 43 seconds remaining until halftime. Hayden sends it on the way, and it is good. 38-26. Lady Colts down with 43 seconds remaining in this first half. Out front with a basketball. That's Linville. Linville works it left side. Dietschy gets it over the left wing to Patrick. Kaylee works it left side to Linville. Linville fires it underneath. And uh, I know that uh, Edwards has a big size advantage in size, but not that big of a size advantage. That one a little too tall. Ball goes out of bounds. Lady Colts get it back. Trailing 38-26. 15 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Lady Colts will work for a final basket here. Try to get some momentum, some momentum going into halftime. Kiana Holly's three-pointer no good. The rebound comes off to Linville. And the clock expires. We've come to the end of the first half of play. Our score, North Arc 38, Lady Colts 26. We'll be back with some halftime stats in a moment here on N88radio.com. Raising a family today costs just slightly less than the national debt. There's braces, music lessons, clothes, groceries, doctor bills, insurance, cars, college, and the expenses just grow as the kids get older. It takes a good banking relationship with a bank that's small enough to know you and your banking needs, yet big enough to serve them. We've helped a lot of folks with the financial side of raising a family. First State Bank, member FDIC. We're big on you. We're big on you. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. This isn't just another chicken sandwich. No, it's more than that. It's the crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. It's the juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. It's the tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Hi, brother man. Stay out of jail. Stay out of jail. Stay out of jail. Stay out of jail. Lady Colts trailing at the half. Chevy on the camera tonight. Good job up there, Chevy. Yeah. Lady Colts trailing 38-26. Big crowd on hand tonight as a number of Ashdown students across the way, Chevy. Man, they got, they got a bunch of signs and all that stuff out here. Looks like uh, I see across the way, Kiana over there has got a fan. Let's go, Kiana. See that? Yeah. I mean, the kids made signs and everything. Good crowd of Ashdown students here tonight to cheer on the Lady Colts. Well, at the half here, Lady Colts led 16-15 after the first quarter, but were outscored 23-10 in that second quarter and find themselves down by a dozen, 38-26 at the intermission. Lady Colts have hit four threes on the night as Carmella Hayden leads the way with nine points, including a pair of three-pointers. Also hitting a three tonight, Kayla Fuller. She's got five points, including one three-pointer. And three points tonight for Samaya Smith. She hit a three. Also with three points tonight, but from a combination of uh, baskets and free throws, Kiana Holly has three, Amari Morrison has three, and Kyler Hardy has three points. Meanwhile, Lady Pioneers are led by Kaylee Patrick, coming off the bench, hitting nine points tonight, including a couple of threes, and she hit three free throws after being fouled on a three-pointer. Also tonight, eight points in that first half for Abby Dietschy, and uh, a pair of threes in her total on the evening. Also in the scoring column for the uh, Lady Pioneers. 
Carson Edwards with six points. Four points each tonight for Haley Fry, Zoe McGee, and Cameron Sutterfield. Lily Compton has chipped in a three this evening as well. Foul situation tonight for North Ark. Looks like uh, Lily Compton and Haley Fry each with three at the intermission. Kayla Fuller has three for the Lady Colts. Again, our score at the half. Lady Colts find themselves down by a score of 38 to uh, 26. And we'll be back in a moment or two here on ed88radio.com. My name's Kathy Billingsley, and I run the mobile lab for DeQueen, Nashville, Ashdown, Murfreesboro, and uh, Centerpoint Frights, which is close to Glenwood. Um, the uh, mobile lab consists of me and two computers. So I take these computers where I can give the test to students who need the test after hours or um, a, that the testing centers are open. And the testing centers are only open certain days of the week. And most of the time, they're for the GED testing. And most of the time, they're not open for GED testing on Monday or Friday. Um, so that's why I come in. I can do that. I can test up till eight o'clock at night for students. The ones that, because sometimes when students begin to get their GED, they can do distance learning classes and they can um, do all their prep and do everything that they need to do. But when it comes down to just taking the final test, it is so difficult because of having to work. And sometimes they have to take days off, that's loss of pay. Well, here I am. Um, after, I can give it to people after six all the way up till, like I said, eight, eight o'clock. I actually have it open until nine. So every your teacher, between you and your teacher, you decide that you are ready to take that GED test. The teacher can get in contact with me and let me know. We'll schedule the time that you could take the test. Um, the big key thing to remember when you take your test is you need to bring your ID <laughs> Two times already I've had people come. It's not as big of an issue for me as it is actually the testing centers who have scheduled those scheduled times of being open and closed because these people have called and had someone bring their ID to them. But, you know, just remember to bring your ID because I can't test a person even if you're my mother. <laughs> what I love about doing it is just giving people the opportunity because I have seen people be so happy, so relieved, so thankful that they could even take their test, that they could pass their test. One young man, all in the world he had was his lunch breaks. He didn't even have the afternoons, you know, where he could study. He just had his lunch breaks. He came with the teacher, did some studying with the teacher, and left. He got all of his study in, and it came time for him to take his GED. And see, he was one of those. He had to take his entire day off from work. but. I'd like to give him the entire test in one day, which is not a traditionally something that happens for people. Usually you take one test in the morning and one test in the afternoon at the testing centers. But I got to give him all his tests because he made his day available and I was open till so late at night. I got to give him his test and that was just so uh, gratifying to be able to help that young man. He needed his job so badly. He had life, a lot depending on him to get his work and to get this GED. I mean, it was just so, things like that really makes it worthwhile. It's halftime at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium. As we uh, look across the way, the uh, Colts men's team were out there tossing T-shirts up into the stands to all the kids a while ago. And uh, if you see some turquoise sh shirts in the stands at this point, well, it's uh, compliments of UA Casatot. And wow, 
great crowd tonight. And uh, a lot of these kids made signs. They've got their own favorite Colts here. Fun to watch, fun to watch. It's what, what college basketball is all about. And places like North Ark and UA Cossetot bringing college basketball to your hometown. North Ark on top, 38-26 at the intermission. Of course, uh, this is the first of two tonight. The uh, men's game set to get underway, 7.30 tonight. And of course, um, uh, we want to say a great big thank you to all of our sponsors, including the folks at State Farm, McDonald's, Dr. Randy Walker, and Coca-Cola of Nashville for making tonight's action possible here on 888radio.com. Again, our score at the half. Lady Colts trail it, 38-26. Back in a moment on 888radio.com. For those living together and those living apart. For classmates, graduates, and teachers making the best of it. For the restaurants delivering to our doorsteps. For the frontline workers putting it on the line every single day. For this great nation determined to be stronger on the other side. Thanks to all of you, we'll be together again. Did you hear that? Stay Farm thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris, no! Ooh, see, surprising. Just like State Farm surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In Dequane, your State Farm insurance agent is Luke Billingsley at 870-642-2157. Casatot Physical Therapist Assistant and Occupational Therapy Assistant programs in Ashdown are designed to give our students the skills needed to be job ready in only 30 months. At UA Casatot, our instructors are knowledgeable and experienced. Our classes are affordable and small, and our facilities are big and well equipped. And you'll find our graduates on the job all over the four states area. And that's something to celebrate. Application deadline is March 1st. UA Casatot, your career starts here. This live stream broadcast on Ed 88 is made possible by Satellite Service Company in Nashville, your authorized Dish Network dealer. Satellite Service Company and Dish Network serve the entertainment needs of the entire area. You like sports? Dish Network sports packages offer every sports fan exciting action featuring your favorite teams. The Dish Tailgater portable satellite TV antenna lets you watch TV wherever you are, at the lake, in the mountains, or at the tailgate party outside the stadium. The Dish Hopper gives you the power to transform your computer, smartphone, or tablet into your TV and enjoy your home TV anywhere. Special discounts and packages available to fit any budget. Satellite Service Company, 301 South Main Street in Nashville. Credit cards are great, but have you seen the interest you're paying? I talked to my bank about a debit card. It's smart, it's secure, it's accepted anywhere, it even does double duty as an ATM card. So if you add it all up, a debit card is a better card. Horatio State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. We're online at HoratioStateBank.com. Pilgrim's Pride Corporation is currently one of the largest chicken producers in the U.S. and delivers poultry products in more than 100 countries. Being a part of the family meal is a tremendous honor. They strive for great taste, flavor, and satisfaction in every Pilgrim's experience. People are at the heart of our business. Pilgrim's continues to focus on providing a safe and well-managed workplace that presents the best opportunity for our team members to thrive and have a better future big part of this community right here at home, Pilgrim's Pride of DeQuain. Look at where we are. Think of what we can do. 
What we're building together is special, and at Southwestern Electric Power Company, we know it's only the beginning. We can do more to improve our communities, our lives. We can reimagine how we use power and where that power comes from. We believe every person, no matter how unique, makes us stronger. By working together, the energy to accomplish our dreams is boundless. Welcome back to the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium on the campus of UA Constantin Locksburg. It's our industrial campus here, industrial maintenance. Variety of uh, industrial programs on this campus. For those of you uh, tuning in up in North Arkansas, welcome aboard. UA Constantin, four campuses, one in Dequeen, where uh, and they have things like diesel technology, nursing. Nashville has nursing and uh, a variety of college courses have offered there. Ashdown, a variety of therapy programs, including OTA and PTA. Lady Colts back on the court. We're set to go. It'll be Kayla Fuller to make the inbounds pass for the Lady Colts, along with Carmela Hayden. Samaya Smith, Jarrah Cotton, and Amari Morrison. Up top, Fuller thought about the three. Dietschy is there to cut her off, though. They'll fire it back out to Smith. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Smith gets rid of it inside to Cotton. Cotton, oh, nice move to the basket. Jarrah's shot won't go. Rebound picked up by Smith, and she's going to be fouled underneath. <laughs> Personal foul is going to be called against Bethany Richardson. I think that's her first. Samaya Smith will head to the free throw line. Samaya on the night. Three out of six. She's hit her last two in a row, make it three in a row. She's in double figures now with ten. Leading all scorers in the ball game with ten points. Smith's second shot on the way up and in. Lady Colts get off to a good start in this second half. Down by 10, 38-28. Lady Pioneers across the midcourt stripe. That's Sutterfield. Gets it out to Dietschy. Left side. Richardson works in the corner. Dietschy puts it up, can't get it to go. Lady Colts grab a rebound. Samaya Smith gets it up top to Hayden. Carmella works it right side. Three-pointer on the way by Kayla Fuller. Can't get it to go. Sutterfield grabs that rebound. Cameron gets it ahead. Into the front court, over to Dietschy. Abby drives through the lane, puts it up. Whistle foul and a charging foul. Going to be called against Dietschy. That'll be Abby's first personal foul. Abby leading score for the Lady Pioneers. Averaging 16 points a ball game. She'll come out of the game and checking in at her place will be Zoe McGee. By the way, Dietschy with two personal fouls at this point. And the Lady Colts have the basketball and an opportunity to cut this lead to single digits. Hardy goes inside, can't get the shot to go, gets her own rebound, but then she lost it, and the rebound comes off to Linville. Abby on the run. And we're getting left side. Richardson. Out on the wing. Back up top. Shot put up just outside the lane. Rattles it around, goes down. Basket by Cameron Sutterfield. She's got six points. Lady Colts down by a dozen. 40, 28, 8.05 to play. Third quarter. Lob pass inside, stripped away. Ball tipped away by Haley Fry, picked up by Sutterfield. They work it back up top. Try to go inside, shot put up, collision inside, let's see. And a blocking foul is gonna be called against the Lady Colts. Personal foul on Carmella Hayden. 
That'll be her second. And head to the free throw line. For the uh, Lady Pioneers will be Zoe McGee. McGee, two out of four at the free throw line tonight. Three out of five. As a matter of fact, she's the only Lady Pioneer that's missed a free throw tonight. Everybody else, perfect from the line. Puts a lot of pressure on you, doesn't it? Second shot, no good. Rebound comes off to Fuller, and Fuller wants to run. Has a pass, free throw line. Jared Cotton gets it down low to Amari Morrison. She'll fire it right back out again in the corner. Samaya Smith for three. Can't get it to go. The rebound's chased down. Morrison gets it over to Fuller. Fuller fires it back out on the left wing. Three-pointer on the way by Smith. Won't go. Rebound comes off to Fuller. Shot no good, but she's going to the free throw line. Personal foul is going to be called against Haley Fry. That's going to be her fourth. And to head to the free throw line will be Kayla Fuller. Checking out of the lineup for the Lady Colts will be Jarrett Cotton as Kyler Hardy checks in. And coming out of the lineup will be Haley Fry for the Lady Pioneers. And checking in in her place will be Carson Edwards. Fuller. Sends it on the way, off the back of the iron, no good. Kayla Fuller tonight, that was her first free throw attempt of the evening. Five points in the ball game. Lady Colts trail it, 41-28. Second shot, goes in. Took it a while, but it did go down. Six points for Fuller. Lady Colts down by a dozen, 41-29. 7.20 to play, third quarter. They'll work it left side, driving through the lane, shot put up, no good, grabbing that rebound, putting it right back up and in. Talk about being at the right place, right time. That's a Dr. John basket there for Zoe McGee. She's got what? Seven points in the ball game. Down low, whistle, foul. And the personal foul is gonna be called against the Lady Pioneer, Zoe McGee. McGee's just picked up her second personal foul, heading to the free throw line will be Amari Morrison. Morrison's had her work cut out inside tonight. She's got three points in the ball game, one out of one at the free throw line. Shot off the iron, no good. Morrison, sophomore, played her high school basketball at Texas High in Texas, Canada. Been a solid part of this Lady Colts team for the past two years. Second shot's up and in for Amari. Morrison with four points now. Lady Colts down by 13, 43-30. 7.07 to go, third quarter. Pass goes into Linville. Linville gets it right back over to McGee. Zoe works it ahead, looking for Sutterfield. Sutterfield was passed to where the player was, but uh, Kaylee Patrick had already left there, and the Lady Pioneers turned it over. It's checking into the lineup for North Arc will be Lily Compton. Lady Colts up top, they'll work it right side. Fuller will fire up the three, can't get it to go down. Grabbing that rebound. Sabaya Smith came flying in from nowhere, got the basket. She's got five points in the ball game. Lady Colts down by 11, 43-32. In the backfield, or in the backcourt, I should say. It has been a little physical at times. Oh, going all the way with it. Talk about being too wide open on that layup. As uh, McGee couldn't get it to go down, the rebound comes off the Lady Colts, three-pointer on the way, out of bounds. Last touch by Smith. As Fuller fired up the three from the right side, Smith couldn't catch up with the rebound. North Arc has it up by 11. 6.20 to play. Lady Colts full court pressure. They'll get it ahead to Patrick. Kaylee lost it momentarily. Gets rid of it now. They'll work it over to the right corner. Underneath, whistle foul. That's going to be on Kyler Hardy. Hardy call for the personal. Linville probably going to the free throw line to shoot a couple right here. Or they're going to say she was not fouled in the act of shooting. As Hardy picks up her third personal foul. Three-pointer on the way. Left corner in there. As Compton found herself alone in that corner. They gave her some breathing room. She fired up the three, knocked it down. Shot on the other end by Smith, won't go. And the Pioneers come across a mid-court stripe. 
They'll work it left side. Linville wants to attack. And she'll give it back out top. Right side, three-pointer on the way. No. And the rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Pioneers. Lady Colts get it back. Trailing 46-32. 5-48 to play, third quarter. Fuller will make the inbounds pass. Gets it into Smith. 5.45 to play. Third quarter, Lady Colts trailing by 14. Samaya Smith works it left wing, gets it to Fuller. Kayla has to back it back out. Good defense by Kaylee Patrick over there. They'll lob it inside to Hardy. Hardy wants to work, goes strong to the basket, can't get the shot to go, but a blocking foul is gonna be called against Abby Dietschy. That's gonna be her second. And Hardy should be heading to the free throw line to shoot a couple here. 5.26 left. And by the way, that's the third personal foul on Dietschy. And Hardy will be shooting a couple here. Kyler one out of two at the free throw line tonight. Three points in the ball game. Make it four as that one's up and in. Lady Colts down by 13 now, 46-33 with 5.26 left in the third quarter. Second shot by Hardy, in and out, no good. And the rebound comes off to Patrick. Kaylee fires it ahead, loose ball, picked up by the Pioneers. And Dietschy puts it up in the end. If things are going right, they're going right. That ball was passed to no man's land because nobody was there. But Dietschy comes up with a loose, get, winds up with the ball and puts it up and in. Dietschy, by the way, in double figures now with 10. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Lady Colts down by 15, 48-33. Kyler Hardy wants to work inside, working against Dietschy, goes up strong, can't get the shot to go as Patrick comes away with it. Kaylee gives it to Lidville. Abby. Working out front against Kiana Holly. Oh, what a pass underneath. Dietschy was a little too far under, couldn't get the shot to go. And putting it hard off the glass and good. As Fuller is gonna be called for the personal foul and going to the free throw line. Trying to complete the old fashioned three point play. Cause that's the fourth personal foul, by the way, on Kayla Fuller. As Jerry Cotton checks in at her place at the free throw line will be Zoe McGee. McGee, six points in the ball game, seven points in the ball game. She's three out of six, making four out of seven at the free throw line. And the Lady Colts find themselves down by 18, 51-33. Cross court to Holly, to Hardy inside, gets it back out to Cotton in the corner. Cotton goes strong to the basket, can't get it to go, gets her own rebound and knocks it down. Jared Cotton gets her first two of the night. And now every Lady Colt has scored in this ball game. Pioneers have it across the midcourt stripe. Working with a basketball, McGee. Zoe, bounce pass right side, gets it to Patrick. Kaylee gives it right back to Zoe. Out front. Now they work it left side to Abby Lidville. Lidville attacks, puts it up, can't get it to go. The rebound comes off to Samaya Smith. She is double teamed. Jump ball is a call. Possession error points to North Arc. Smith found herself double teamed in traffic. Lost her balance. North Arc there to tie it up. They'll have the basketball on the baseline. Leading 51-35. Dietschy works it right side. They get it up top to Lidville. Abby is going to be fouled by Kiana Holly. Kiana Holly called for the personal foul. That will be her first. And North Ark will put it in play on the baseline after some discussion. Dietschy fires it in. It's a way out front. Back to Dietschy inside the lane. Puts it off the glass, no good, and that rebound comes off to Amari Morrison. Morrison facing some pressure in the backcourt from Dietschy. 
to get it ahead to Samaya Smith. Samaya fires it deep in that corner, looking for Kiana Holly, but Holly wasn't close enough to come away with it. Lidville will walk it across the horse he had at midcourt. Bounce pass, free throw line. Gets it into Dietze. Dietze goes strong to the basket. Can't get it to go, however. And Samaya Smith grabs that rebound. Working out there against McGee. Now she'll back it back out again. And let's see. Timeout. Called by the Lady Colts. The 302 to play third quarter. Our score, North Arc 51, Lady Colts 35. Back in a moment on N88 Radio. Hey, Ratchets, look! I'm you! <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standard that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? Like looking in a mirror, right? Now that one makes sense. Look guys, I don't even have a stand in. Of course you do. Hold on, is that Drake? That's right, Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In DeQueen, your State Farm insurance agent is Luke Billingsley at 870-642-2157. Lady Colts trail at 51-35 here in the third quarter at the Bank of Larksburg Historic Gymnasium. Ashdown student night here at UA Casa Tot. Big group of kids from Ashdown schools here. Setting an attendance record for the UA Casa Tot Colts, Lady Colts. I would imagine probably have over 300 folks here tonight. And a couple hundred of them are sitting across the way. After the timeout, Lady Colts will have the basketball. 3.02 to play, third quarter. As Smith gets it in to Kyler Hardy. Gets it right back out to Samaya Smith. Fronted over there by Lily Compton. She needs some help. Gets it off to Kiana Holly. Holly over to Amari Morrison. Morrison attacks the basket. Charging foul, Morrison. Nice defensive play that time on the part of Carson Edwards. Morrison's called for a second personal foul of the night. Lady Colts turned it over with 2.47 to play in this third quarter. Down by 16, 51-35. Into the front court, that's Abby Lidville working against Carmella Hayden. She'll work at left side. In the hands of Fry. Actually, that's Zoe McGee. Driving the lane, putting the shot up. That's Patrick, her shot no good. Managed to tip it out. Loose ball picked up by North Park. Ball tipped back out again. Now working deep in that right corner. Three-pointer on the way by Patrick. Won't go. Almost like volleyball underneath, the way uh, North Park tips it out time and time again. Whistle and a foul will be on Carson Edwards. I believe that's her second. And we'll walk to the other end where Kyler Hardy will shoot some free throws here. Hardy with six points in the ball game. Two out of four at the free throw line tonight. I said six points. She's got four points in the ball game. Still has four. Again, Lady Colts have struggled at the free throw line as of late. Unlike North Ark. Second shot, in and out, no good, and the rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Pioneers. Had a couple of North Ark players going for that loose basketball. It winds up going over the Lady Colts. It's Holly will make the inbounds pass. She'll fire it into Hardy. Hardy works it left side to Jarrett Cotton. Cotton wants to attack. Drew some contact instead. Gets it back out to Kiana Holly. Around the horn to Hayden. Hayden wants to attack, pulls up from 12, can't get it to go. That rebound is going to be pulled down by Zoe McGee. McGee gets it ahead to Linville. Under two minutes to play, third quarter. North Rock on top by 16, 51 35. And let's see, a whistle across the way. And. Personal foul away from the basketball going to be on Jared Cotton. Cotton's going to be called for a third personal foul. 
And at the free throw line will be Lily Compton. Compton's first free throw of the night is up and in. Compton with a pair of threes on the evening. Seven points in the game. Second shot, back of the iron, no good. And the rebound comes off Kyler Hardy. Three-pointer on the way from the corner, no good. Jared Cotton had the rebound momentarily, taken back by Northart. On top by 17, 52-35. Nice move on the basket. Spin move inside. Edwards gets the easy two. She's got eight. Lady Colts down by 19, 54-35. Inside. Morrison working with it in there. And the ball does not go out of bounds. North Ark State after it. Linville comes out of there with it. They'll work it out on that left wing. Lob pass inside, nice shot off the glass and good. Basket, good by Carson Edwards. She's got 10 now as the Lady Colts come the other way. And Tiana Holly with the 14-footer. She's got five now. Lady Colts down by 19, 56-37. They'll work it, pass stolen away by Kyler Hardy. She wants to take it all the way, lays it high off the glass, can't get it to go. Rebound comes off to Lidville and she's gonna be called for the travel. Lady Colts will have it underneath their own basket with 12 and a half seconds remaining in this third quarter. Down 56-37. They'll fire way out front, out to Hayden. Hayden backs it out. Ten seconds on that on that clock. Hayden off the dribble inside the lane. Fires it out. Cotton thought about the three. Now she'll take it. Now on the way, air ball. And we've come to the end of the third quarter of play. Our score, North Ark 56. Lady Colts 37. Back in a moment on 888 Radio. And there you have it. McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. This isn't just another chicken sandwich. No, it's more than that. It's the crispy chicken sandwich. From the makers of the world's most stolen fries. It's the juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. It's the tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We get set for the fourth quarter, reminding you tonight, Lady Colts basketball being brought to you tonight and all season long by Coca-Cola of Nashville, by Pilgrims, by Husqvarna, and by McDonald's of Southwest Arkansas. Lady Colts find themselves down by several here as we get set to start this fourth and final quarter. Lady Colts will have the basketball trailing 56-37. Kyler Hardy with it. Works it right side to Jared Cotton. Cotton back out to Hardy. Hardy top of the key. Drives inside the lane. Works it left side. Hayden pulls up from 12. Shot will not go. Rebound Amari Morrison. Put it right back up and in. Strong move inside by Morrison. She's got six. Lady Colts down by 17. 56-39. Pass underneath. Shot put up. No. A little too far under that time for Karen uh, Carson Edwards. Had the right idea, just a little too far under. Lady Colts attack as Hayden drives hard to the basket, lays it off the glass and good. She's got 13. Lady Colts have cut it to 15 now at 56-41. Pass right side. Patrick gets it back out front. Compton works it left side. Back inside it goes, back out now. Patrick fires up the three, that one's no good. Rebound punched out of bounds by Carson Edwards. 
Lady Colts will have it back with an opportunity to cut into that lead. Down by 15, need to take advantage of every opportunity here over the final eight minutes and 40 seconds. Carmella Hayden picks up her dribble, gets it over to Jared Cotton on the right wing. Free throw line. That's Hardy, gets it out to Kiana Holly for three. Kiana buries a big three. That's a big basket right there. Holly down with eight, Lady Colts down by a dozen, 56-44. Trying to hang around. Out on the wing. Oh, nice give that time. All alone, breaking behind everybody for the easy layup was Carly Patrick. We've got a timeout on the court. North Arc, 58, Lady Colts 44. Back in a moment on NADA Radio. Lee Cassatot, physical therapist assistant and occupational therapy assistant programs in Ashdown are designed to give our students the skills needed to be job ready in only 30 months. At UA Cossetot, our instructors are knowledgeable and experienced. Our classes are affordable and small, and our facilities are big and well-equipped. And you'll find our graduates on the job all over the four states area. And that's something to celebrate. Application deadline is March 1st. UA Cossetot, your career starts here. Yeah, check out that crowd across the way. Students from the Ashdown School System here with us tonight. Saw our old friend Jim Cross across the way tonight as well. The Lady Colts will have the basketball. Trailing by 14, 58-44. Eight minutes left. Whoop, 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 whoop. Apparently we didn't have the clock, the uh, shot clock reset here. 7.55 or 59 to go. As we try to get that clock reset. All right, here we go. Nobody ever looks at the clock operator until something goes wrong, right? Kind of like the sound guy at church. <laughs> well, the Lady Colts have it. Down by 14. Jerry Cotton with it up top. Bounce pass, free throw line to Kyler Hardy. Bounce pass in the corner. As Hayden fires up the three. Can't get it to go with the rebound. It's going to be pulled down by Tanner Wilson. And we've got a whistle across the way as Kaylee Patrick's gonna be called for the charge. And let's see, I believe that's uh, Hayden that went down. Apparently the back of her head hit that court. And she may come out of the lineup for a moment or two. She doesn't want to. She has one speed all out. What a competitor. She's coming out of the lineup. They'll check her out over on the bench. It's Fuller back in the lineup. Kayla up top. Gets it to Hardy. Hardy wants to attack. Nice spin move inside. Puts it up and knocks it down. <laughs> Kyler Hardy. Six points in the ball game. Lady Colts down by 12, 58-46. Pass inside, nice move. Good pass as the basket goes to Tana Wilson, her first two of the night. Carson Edwards gets the assist. Lady Colts down by 14, 60-46. Under seven minutes to play in the ball game as the ball stolen away by Edwards. Carson gets it ahead. And the Lady Pioneers are walking into the front court. Zoe McGee up top, gets it out on that left wing to Lily Compton. Compton cross courts it to Patrick. Kaylee working over there. And we're getting back left side. Just outside the free throw circle, shot put up no good, and Kiana Holly pulls down the rebound for the Lady Colts. She'll get it in the corner to Fuller. Fuller working over there against Patrick. It's Hardy. Tries to go one-on-one, -on -one, puts it high off the glass. And by high, I mean on top of the, ba the uh, backboard. So the uh, Lady Colts will turn it over. Amari Morrison's gonna come out and checking back in after that collision a moment ago. Will be Carmella Hayden. Lily Compton with it up top. Oh, nice cut to the basket, layup no good, and going sky high to grab that rebound. 
is Kayla Fuller. Fuller on the break, gets it ahead to Hayden, and Hayden's gonna be fouled. Compton picks up the personal, that's gonna be her fourth. And head to the free throw line will be Carmella Hayden. Hayden's hit her last four in a row. She's five out of eight at the free throw line tonight. 13 points in the ball game. Lady Colts down by 14, 60-46 with just under six minutes to play in the game. Shot, good. Important for the Lady Colts to knock some points down here the, every chance they get. Hayden's second shot on the way, and it is good. It's a 12-point deficit now. North Ark on top, 60 to 48. 5.50 to play in the ball game. Up top, Patrick having some trouble out there, gets rid of it. Nice cut that time, but the pass is stolen away by Fuller. Fuller wants to take it down low, working, puts the shot up, she's gonna be fouled. Personal foul gonna be called against Haley Fry, that's her fifth. Fry is fouled out of the ball game. Finishes the evening with four points all up in the first half. So Fry will come out. Fuller will head to the free throw line. Kayla, one out of two at the charity stripe tonight. She's got six points in the ball game, five of them in the first half. Fuller will shoot a couple here. Lady Colts down by a dozen, 60 to 48, 535 to play in this game. First shot's on the way by Kayla up and good. Kayla now with seven points. It's an 11 point deficit for the Lady Colts. Second shot, up and in. Kind of have to eat that elephant one bite at a time. They've chewed it down to 10. Patrick has it, she'll get it ahead. Compton works it right side, back up top. That's Patrick, Kaylee with it. Gets it back out front. Pass inside, tipped away by Fuller. And Fuller. They're gonna say Fuller touched that basketball. Which several folks are not in agreement with that. So Lady Colts will set up defensively. Pass. To up top, Sutterfield. Works it right side to Compton. Compton, ball goes out of bounds, last touch. By, I think that went off of uh, Kaylee Patrick. As she was cutting through, lost her balance. And the Lady Colts will have it back with a chance for the first time in a long time to cut this lead to single digits. Lady Colts have been down by double digits since, well, Second quarter. Carmella Hayden has it. Five minutes to go in the ball game. Lady Colts down by 10. 60 to 50. Hardy. Kyler. Directing traffic. Hardy inside the lane. Gets it back out front to Fuller. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Back out to Hardy. Hardy wants to attack. Working inside. Needs to get it up. And a foul going to be called against Zoe McGee. And I think that's her third. Lady Colts will put it in play. Now, actually, they're having a discussion under the basket. And the Lady Colts will put the ball in play on the baseline. Trailing 60 to 50, 439 to go. As Fullard would like to get it in. Gets it into Hayden. Hayden working out on the left wing. Billy Compton over there. Lily Compton puts some pressure on her. As Hayden puts it up, the one-hander won't go with the rebound. Gonna be holed down by the Pioneers. They'll bring it the other way, that's Compton. Long pass underneath, shot put up and in. Nice pass by Compton. What a basket by Sutterfield. Sutterfield with the basket. She's got eight. We've got a timeout on the court. 4.14 to play in the ballgame. North Ark 62, Lady Colts 50. 
Back in the moment on 888 Radio. And there you have it. McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. This isn't just another chicken sandwich. No, it's more than that. It's the crispy chicken sandwich. From the makers of the world's most stolen fries. It's the juicy chicken sandwich. From the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. It's the tender chicken sandwich. From the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you want... Lady Colts in the basketball as we resume action here at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium. North Park on top, 62-50. Four minutes to go in the ball game. Kyler Hardy with it. Works inside the lane, goes up strong in the basket, draws the foul. Personal foul is going to be called against Zoe McGee. That's her fourth. Hardy's going to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Kyler. Two out of, out of five at the free throw line tonight. Missed her last two in a row. The six points in the ball game. That one off the iron, no good. Kyler, second shot. Up and in. Hardy with the basket. Or the free throw, I should say. Lady Colts cut it to 11, 62 to 51, 350 to play in the game. North Park looking for their first conference victory. They work at left wing, three-pointer on the way. And apparently they're gonna say the uh, ball hit the top of the, uh, the backboard. Dead ball, and the Colts get it back. Trailing 62-51, 341 to play in the game. Carmela Hayden takes it into the front court. Three and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Right side, that's Fuller. Fuller's gonna be called for the travel. Coach of Subdu can't believe that one. Wow. So uh, looks like uh, Kyler Hardy's gonna come out of the lineup and checking in in her place will be Amari Morrison. Lady Colson will put the full court pressure on here. Pass stolen away by the Lady Colts. And a whistle and a foul, and that's going to be all for Zoe McGee. Good hustle that time by Carmela Hayden. And McGee will come out of the lineup with her five fouls. Seven, eight points in the ball game tonight for Zoe. She had four in the first half, four in the second. The Hayden will shoot a couple here. Carmela, 13 points in the ball game tonight. Actually, 15 points in the ball game. Make it 16. She's hit her last seven free throws in a row. Eight out of 11 tonight. 52 or 62 52. Lady Colts down by 10 and single digit lead now. So Lady Colts are within nine with 325 to play in the ball game. 62 53. Pass across the way. Patrick got a little carried away. Looking for Sutterfield breaking on the basket. Pass a little too tall. And the Lady Colts get it back with 319 to go. This game's starting to get a little interesting here. After the Lady Colts trailed by as many as 19. They've shaved 10 points off that lead. Holly has it up top. And a whistle away from the basketball. And is that going to be on Patrick? It is. Callie Patrick called for the personal foul, or Kaylee Patrick called for her third personal foul. And Hayden's gonna go to the free throw line. Carmella. As we said, she's hit nine in a row, or eight in a row. Shots on the way, good. Hayden will have another one coming here. Nine points in the first half, nine in the second half for Hayden. 
Second shot by Carmella is good. Lady Colts down by seven, 62-55. 305 to play in the ball game. Sutterfield gets it ahead, pass tipped away by Kiana Holly. They were looking for Dietschy that time. Holly broke in front of her, able to tip it out of bounds. Lady Pioneers in the corner and a whistle across the way. Personal foul going to be called. Going to be on Amari Morrison away from the basketball. Morrison called for the personal foul. That's her third. And the Lady Pioneers will put it in play again. Pass almost gets away. Nice pass down low. Shot won't go. Rebound. Picked out of the air, put up, no good, but the whistle and the foul, that's gonna be on Holly. Kiana's called for her second. And at the free throw line will be Carson Edwards. Edwards in double figures tonight with 10. Two for two at the free throw line. First opportunity of the second half for Edwards. That one's no good. Lady Colts down by seven. Make it eight as that one's up and in by Edwards. She's got 11 points in the ball game. Lady Colts have the basketball. Looking to cut it. Down by eight as driving down low, putting it up. Morrison shot, no good. And the rebound winds up in the hands of Patrick. Kaylee gets it to Compton. Lily working it around. They get it to Dietschy underneath. Abby shot up and in. Abby Dietschy now with 12 points in the ball game. And the Lady Colts want a timeout. 2.20 to play the ball game. Our score, North Arc 65, Lady Colts 55. Back after this on NADA Radio. Wilkerson Funeral Home was established by the Wilkerson family in 1929. Fred Wilkerson Sr. built a reputation on serving others, putting families first, and operating with the highest standards of professionalism. With locations in Dequeen and Dirks, families of Southwest Arkansas continue to choose Wilkerson Funeral Home for their dependability, professionalism, and a staff that has acquired over 125 years of combined experience in the funeral business. Supporting our community and area schools, Wilkerson Funeral Home, and online at wilkersonfuneralhomes.com. Back to action here. 2.20 left in the ball game. Lady Colts have the basketball down by 10. 65-55. For the largest home crowd in the history of the Colts program. As the Lady Colts have it out on that left wing. Kayla Fuller has her shot blocked. Picked out of the air by Patrick. Kaylee works it ahead to Compton. Now we're getting inside to Sutterfield. Lays it off the glass and good. Nice move on the basket that time by Cameron Sutterfield. She's in double figures with 10. Lady Colts back down by a dozen, 67-55. They had cut it to seven just a moment ago. A minute 40 to go in the ball game as Cameron Hayden, or uh, uh, <laughs> Carmella Hayden, puts the high off the glass and good. Hayden, 21 points in the ball game. Left side, that's Sutterfield. Goes around the screen by Dietschy, gives it back to Dietschy. Fires it down low on the baseline. They'll get it back out. Left side. Patrick gives it to Dietschy. Her pass stolen away by Kyler Hardy. Hardy ahead to Fuller. Fuller pulls up from 14. Off the iron, no good. Rebound comes off to Sutterfield. Cameron will come the other way. Pioneers bring it back out again. Under a minute to play. North Arc on top by a dozen. They'll work it right side, pass underneath. Dietschy puts it up, no. Rebound, Fuller wants to run. Fires it ahead to Hayden. Hayden. And well, what are we going to call? A charging foul. Carmella Hayden called for the charge. That's her third personal. And got a uh, substitution timeout here. It's checking in is uh, Tana Wilson for the Pioneers. They'll get it ahead to Patrick. Kaylee fires it back out front to Compton. Back out to Patrick. 
Free throw line to Sutterfield. 30 seconds to go with this game. Underneath, shot put up, and is that going to be on Morrison? Or will it be on, uh, nope, going to be on Kiana Holly. Holly call for the personal foul. That's her third. At the free throw line will be Carson Edwards. Edwards with 11 points on the night. Three out of four at the free throw line tonight. That one's up and in. She's got a dozen points. Six in the first half, six in the seventh, uh, second, that is. North Arc on top by a score of 69 to 57. And a timeout on the court with 28.7 to go. We're back in a moment on NADA Radio. Jake from State Farm. What's good? No, Patrick? Nah, fam. Just your typical sneakerhead working here for the employee discount. But speaking of deals, I heard regular guys like me are getting the Patrick price. That can't be real, right? Listen, State Farm offers race that fit any budget, even yours, typical sneakerhead. Wow, just anyone now? Yeah. Man, these just sold out then. For surprising great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Your local State Farm insurance agent in DeQueen is Luke Billingsley, 870-642-2157. Now we come back to the sounds of Vanilla Heights and Ice Ice Baby. Dr. John with the music selection tonight. As uh, Lady Colts trail it, 69-57. When I hear that song, I feel almost middle-aged again, huh? Lady Colts down by a dozen with uh, under 30 seconds to play in this game. As Kayla Fuller will make the inbounds pass for UA Cossetot. Lobs it in to Kyler Hardy. Hardy works inside the lane, has the ball go off her foot, picked up by... The Pioneers, and they'll back it out. Shot clock is off as Patrick fires it up. High off the glass. Nope, she's going to be fouled in the act of shooting. Personal foul is going to be on Kyler Hardy. So Hardy has picked up her fourth personal foul, and that's going to send Kaylee Patrick to the free throw line. Had nine points in that first half. Hasn't scored in the second half. She's three out of three at the free throw line. That one's off no good. As Patrick will have another one coming here. Second shot's up and in. Patrick in double figures now with 10. And the Lady Colts have it down 70 to 57. 15 seconds left in the game. As Hayden's shot, is that a three? No, it's just a two. Had that foot across the line there. Hayden with the basket, 23 points in the game. And got a whistle on the far end. Full court pressure by the Lady Colts. And the official is going to talk it over here at midcourt. Nine point two seconds left. Lady Colts down by eleven. North Arc up 70-59. I think it's a clock thing here. That's the reason they stopped it. Okay, clock did not start immediately, so they took six tenths of a second off the clock. Of course, when you're down by 11 with under 10 seconds to play, sounds a little bit trivial, but let's get it right. Wilson will make the inbounds pass. And they'll get it in to Compton. Compton gets it ahead to Sutterfield, and Sutterfield lays it off the glass and good. And that should just about do it here. As Hayden has the pass stolen away. And uh, Compton comes up with it. And we've come to the end of this one. Final score, North Arc 72, Lady Colts 59. We're back to take a look at some final stats in a moment here on ed88radio.com. This live stream broadcast on Ed88 is made possible by Satellite Service Company in Nashville, your authorized Dish Network dealer. Satellite Service Company and Dish Network serve the entertainment needs of the entire area. You like sports? Dish Network sports packages offer every sports fan exciting action featuring your favorite teams. The Dish Tailgater portable satellite TV antenna lets you watch TV wherever you are, at the lake, 
in the mountains, or at the tailgate party outside the stadium. The Dish Hopper gives you the power to transform your computer, smartphone, or tablet into your TV and enjoy your home TV anywhere. Special discounts and packages available to fit any budget. Satellite service coming, 301 South Main Street in Nashville. Final score, North Ark defeats UA Cossetot 72-59 as the Pioneers, Lady Pioneers, finish the night with four players in double figures. Led by Carson Edwards with 13. 12 points each tonight for Abby Dietschy and Cameron Sutterfield. 10 points in the ball game for Kaylee Patrick. Also scoring tonight was Zoe McGee. She had eight before she fouled out of the game. Seven points tonight for Lily Compton. Four points for Haley Fry. Meanwhile, the Lady Colts were led in scoring an outstanding night tonight for Carmella Hayden who came in averaging 10 points a game, but she had 23 tonight. Also in the scoring column tonight, she was the only Lady Colt in double figures. Eight points each for Kiana Holly and Kayla Fuller. Looks like uh, seven points for Kyler Hardy. Six points for Amari Morrison. Jira Cotton put in two points for the Lady Colts. Again, the final score, North Ark wins it, 72-59. Men's game coming your way in about 15 minutes here on N88radio.com. Casatot Physical Therapist Assistant and Occupational Therapy Assistant programs in Ashdown are designed to give our students the skills needed to be job ready in only 30 months. At UA Casatot, our instructors are knowledgeable and experienced. Our classes are affordable and small, and our facilities are big and well equipped. And you'll find our graduates on the job all over the four states area. And that's something to celebrate. Application deadline is March 1st. UA Casatot, your career starts here. Hi, I'm Charlene Jewell. I'm an adult education instructor at uh, the Adult Ed Center here in Deep Queen. And I'm also the career coach for this area. Um, there's a joke um, <laughs> uh, among adult education instructors that we're one of the best kept secrets in Arkansas. And it's really true. Um, a lot of uh, people who um, need our services don't even know that we're here. We offer a variety of things. We offer um, besides a GED, and that's what people normally think of when they think of, of adult ed. They think, oh, I go get my GED and that's it. But we offer a lot of different services. We offer um, digital literacy classes. We offer financial literacy classes. Um, we offer both one-on-one um, -on -one tutoring and managed classes, which is like a small classroom. Uh, we do our best to meet the student where they are, because everybody who walks in these doors is at a different level. Um, some people are, are intimidated. They think, oh, well, I'm too old, or, you know, I really didn't do well in high school. But this is a whole different setting. You know, we do an individual educational plan, and every person has their own learning plan. Um, we have several sites. We offer career counseling. We offer um, help with tuition for short-term training. There are a variety of programs, including the TANF, which is the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. Um, we offer the WAGE program, which I believe means the Workers' Alliance for Growth in, in the Economy. Um, they offer scholarships to, uh, for short-term training. In the WAGE program, there's um, 16 career clusters. You can do um, uh, the truck driving school. Um, you can um, become a CNA. Uh, as I said, uh, you can go into industrial maintenance. There's just a variety of careers that you can choose, and depending on your income, uh, get a scholarship. We have several locations. We have, of course, the D Queen campus, Nashville, Ashdown, 
Murfreesboro, Garrick's, and Centerpoint or Greenwood. Um, adult education isn't just for getting a GED. Um, if we have students that come in that all they really want to do is learn to type or maybe they need to learn how to use a computer and we start off with the basics. Wherever you're at, that's where we start. We have students that come in um, and they have their GED by the end of the week. Um, it Again, it depends on where you are. Uh, we have students that maybe it takes 10 years, but the key is not to give up. Um, we have students that work two and three jobs and come to our classes and are faithful, are, are here every time that we have a class. We have students that come from all walks of life, from, from uh, um, family backgrounds that are just unbelievably hard and have made a success, have gone on to college. Uh, we have some that are studying to be welders. Um, we have students that, that once they went to our program, um, they have gone on to um, earning really good wages um, at local companies for upwards of uh, $20 an hour. I mean, adult education is worth investing in. And the great part about it is it's free. You know, all of our services are free. When you walk through the doors, um, Although we call you a client, um, our services to you are free. They're paid for by the state and the federal government. We have people that come out of the correctional systems and are able to, you know, further their education. Um, it's, you know, we don't we don't look at your past. You know, that's that's behind you. What we're looking for is what your goals are and what you want to do with your future. And we help you, when you tell us your goals, we help you to map out a program to achieve those goals. That's what our job is. When you walk through the door, the lady at the desk, uh, there's usually one or two at the front desk, and they do what we call an intake. And then this is just to get the information, the demographic information to put you in our computers. And then we do a pretest. And this is to tell us, you know, the baseline. Where, where are you at right now? When uh, we have got this pretest, um, then you come back to me or you come back to Miss Lutz, and we go through orientation. And at that point, we map out your individual learning plan. Um, our classes can be either per in person, they can be on the computer, or they can be a combination. If, you know, there are some of the ESL students that come at night that um, Ms. Lutz has during the day. So it doesn't matter if you're seeing more than one instructor. Um, we, after 40 hours, we test you again just to see whether or not, it's really for us, to see whether you're progressing or not. And whether or not we need to take another look at your individual learning plan. Maybe we need to tweak it. Maybe we need more one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Um, we look at our students and try very hard to make sure that we're supplying those needs. And if, if our program that we've designed is not meeting your individual needs, then we tweak it to where we are um, helping you to make progress. Casatot Colts merchandise is now available at the ERCs in DeQueen, Ashdown, and Nashville. Come on in and let our friendly staff show you around. We have a lot to choose from, including t-shirts in a variety of styles, colors, caps, hoodies, polos, long sleeve t-shirts. We have joggers and stuff like coffee mugs and insulated thermal tumblers, as well as flash drives, lanyards, and power bank chargers. Just let the staff know what you need 
And who knows, they might even model it for you. Show your Casa Tot school spirit. Get your Colts merchandise today and an ERC near you. We're still about 10 minutes away from the start of this men's contest tonight. UA Cossetot hosting North Arkansas. Colts and the Pioneers going head to head in conference action. As uh, we take a look at this North Ark team, they come in ranked ninth in the country, or excuse me, the uh, Colts are ranked ninth in the country in uh, points per game, averaging 82.2. And uh, also one of the leaders in block shots per game at six. But North Ark near the top of the stats categories in a variety of categories, including assists per game, where they are first in the country, first in the country in, a, in uh, rebound margin per game. They're uh, also in the top 10 in a number of other categories, including second in field goal percentage. They are third in the country in defensive rebounds per game. Uh, sixth in the country in total rebounds per game. They're uh, fifth in the country in steals per game. Sixth in the country in blocked shots per game. Sixth in uh, field goals made per game. And uh, they come in ranked fifth in the country in points per game at 98.3 points per game so a couple of uh, high scoring offenses going head to head here as uh, North Ark comes in tonight uh, on uh, Ashdown night here at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium now the uh, Colts have what I guess they've got uh, uh, four players five players averaging in double figures North Ark, on the other hand, with three players in double figures, including Matt Jones with 19, George McCurdy, or excuse me, uh, that's Jacob Hudson, with 13 points per game, and George McCurdy the fourth, averaging 10 per game. But that only accounts 42 of their 98 points. So the other 50-some-odd points are coming from everybody else. So it's a very, they have a lot of weapons on this basketball team. Meanwhile, the Colts are led in scoring by Eli Hill and Norris Bourne Jr., each averaging 15 points a game. And I said the Colts have five players in double figures. They actually have six players in double figures, averaging in double figures. Ja'Cory uh, averages 13. Jalen Subject averaging 12 points a game. And uh, also in double figures is uh, Darrell Reese and Jordan Wright, each averaging 10 points a game. So we're about uh, seven minutes away from the, the uh, men's game. Lady Colts, in case you're just now joining us, it was uh, North Ark winning that one by a final score of 72 to 59. As North Ark picking up a victory in conference play, Lady Colts falling to one and three. And we'll be back with more in a moment here on Ed ADA Radio.com. In the city of life And the best street brings in the neon light When I heard the thunder, I could feel the rain As it turned to me, just a different Come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Dequeen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. 
But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard. Everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. Inside, there's lining, plumbing parts, cabinets, cooking supplies, and even a cell on generators. Open Monday through Saturday in DeQueen. Bailey's Building Supply, 870-642-2851. Safety is a factor that shouldn't be overlooked when it comes to your car. Your vehicle needs safe engine parts or brake pads, but it also requires a reliable set of tires. Discount Tire and Alignment has a large selection of automotive tires that fit any car, truck, or SUV. They'll provide a safe and comfortable experience on the road whether you're driving a short distance or for hours on the highway. It's smartness all around. Find everything from all season to specialty tires, oil changes, alignments, a clean facility, and friendly customer service. Discount Tire and Alignment, Highway 71 North into Queen, 870-642-5100. Salinas Satellite Service into Queen is a corporate partner of Ed88. Salinas is a Southwest Arkansas Dish Network provider offering all the latest package deals. And if you should encounter a problem, Salinas experienced service technicians are just a phone call away. The very latest in Dish Network home entertainment equipment can be found at Salinas Satellite in downtown DeQueen. Look at where we are. Think of what we can do. What we're building together is special, and at Southwestern Electric Power Company, we know it's only the beginning. We can do more to improve our communities, our lives. We can reimagine how we use power and where that power comes from. We believe every person, no matter how unique, makes us stronger. By working together, the energy to accomplish our dreams is boundless. I'm Barbara Dixon and this is Anna Belcher and we're with Southern Bancor Bank. Southern is a different kind of bank. Um, we are a designated community development financial institution and our main focus, our mission is to be involved in and serve the community. And um, what makes us different is we offer traditional banking services, but we also offer other services um, that help strengthen our community to teach them financial literacy and to help them um, to build credit, understand credit, and to uh, make good, wise choices. Some of the programs we offer, we have a learning center that covers everything from savings to loans to small business, housing. There's also a section of that uh, website that is designated for youth that's broken up by age groups so you can get um, financial literacy information for your children on that website. There's a section for senior citizens as well. Um, we also offer free credit review. We will help you pull your free credit report, go over it with you, give you the resources to review it and to know what to look for. We offer a credit builder CD loan to help you start building credit history or to improve your credit history. We also offer free counseling services, whether you wanna just do a budget or just ask questions, uh, that service is free and it's all free to customers and non-customers alike. We offer free home ownership counseling services. We offer free income tax preparation through the VITA program. It's a voluntary income tax preparation assistance program. And for consumers who qualify, we prepare their taxes free. We will be doing that right here in the Locksburg branch. A lot of what uh, Southern does is they try to strengthen the community, it, the businesses and individuals a lot. And we are considered, our, one of our models is to be wealth builders for everyone. And one of the primary ways we start that is by teaching savings habits.
time, folks. It's game time. Colts, the Pioneers, getting set to do battle here at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium. In the jump circle for the Colts, it'll be Jordan Wright. He'll face off with Jacob Hudson of the Pioneers. And we are set to get underway in front of a full house tonight. Ashdown Schools night at the Bank of Locksburg Gym. Record crowd tonight. As we're set to go. And the opening tip is controlled by the Colts. Jonathan Anderson has it. Anderson will walk it into the front court. Underneath, shot put up and in by Kayvon Wally. Kayvon has his own cheering section here tonight. He's made some friends in Ashdown while he's been here. Hudson works it up top into the hands of Caleb Faulkner. They're working around into the corner. Dante Taylor, Taylor with the basketball, winds up giving it to Matt Jones. They'll lob it inside, looking for Hudson, lays it off the glass, no good, gets his own rebound, stripped away by Kayvon Wally. And the Colts have it, leading 2-0, 19 minutes to go in this first half. Jalen Subject, pass down low, Jordan Wright puts it off the glass, no good, and grabbing that rebound will be Jacob Hudson. They'll get it out on the wing. Into the hands of Matt Jones. Jones with it. Oh, nice give inside. Layup won't go. Rebound fought for. And coming out of there with it, the Colts. Kayvon Wally gets it. As Norris Bourne Jr. works down low, goes underneath, lays it up, can't get it to go. Trying to get his own rebound. The ball goes out of bounds, last touched by the Pioneers. Anderson will make the inbounds pass. Has it stolen away? Coming the other way, laying it all the way on the other end. Flushing it down is George McCurdy Jr. Or the fourth, I should say. His grandpa was George McCurdy uh, Jr., I guess. Lady, or the uh, Colts have it deep in the corner. Good defense that time on the part of McCurdy. And the... Uh, Pioneers will have it. Talking to the coaching staff on that Pioneers bench, trying to point something out to the referee. And the inbounds pass goes to Dante Taylor. Taylor across the mid-time mid court stripe. Working out there. Three-pointer on the way. Matt Jones won't go. Rebound. Going to be pulled down by Hudson. Goes baseline, puts it up, shot. Partially blocked, but it goes down. Nice, strong basket that time by Jacob Hudson, his first two. North Park leads it, 4-2. 17.45 to play. First half, Kayvon Wally working up top. Gets into the lane, lays it up, and in! Kayvon! With a basket, and he is fouled. So here to go the free throw line. Personal foul is gonna be called on George McCurdy. His first, and Kayvon has tied the game at four. Looking for the old-fashioned three-point play here. Tied at four, 17-37 to play. First half, shots on the way by Kayvon Wally. Good! Wally, five. North Arc, four. Cole set up the full-court pressure. Pass down court, into the hands of McCurdy, in the corner, shot on the way, no. Rebound, pulled down by Anderson. Anderson wants to run. Gets it ahead to Wally. Wally, facing some pressure down low. Shot is blocked out of bounds. Good defense that time on the part of Dante Taylor. Colts will have it on the baseline. Wally will make the inbounds pass. Gets it in to Subject. In the corner to Wally, back to Jalen Subject. He's double teamed out there, pulls it out. Pass inside. 
Doris Bourne Jr. NBJ takes the three, knocks it down. Doris Bourne Jr. with a big three. Colts on top by a score of eight to four. McCurdy goes baseline. Oh, nice give underneath to Matt Jones, but he can't get the shot. Shot no good. And Jalen Subject comes out of there with it. Subject working in traffic spin move, and let's see. And traveling is going to be called against Jalen Subject. Colts will set up the full court pressure. North Arc with it. That's Dante Taylor. Gets it over to Jones in the corner. Three-pointer on the way, in there. Three-pointer that time by George McCurdy, the fourth. He's got five. Colts on top, 8-7. They'll walk it in the front court. Doris Moore Jr. for three. No. That one went over the top of the backboard on the carom. I tell you what, Board can flat out light it up when he's on a streak. He hit his first three as Anderson comes out and Darrell Reese checks in for the Colts. Bounce pass through the lane, shot put up, block shot by Jordan Wright. Wright, one of the leaders when it comes to block shots in this conference. Shot put up just outside the circle by Jalen Subject, and the rebound comes off to Hudson, and the Pioneers are on the attack. Coming the other way, that's Dante Taylor. Taylor to Matt Jones, working against Jalen Subject. Works down low, shot no good, there's Hudson. to grab that rebound, kiss it off the glass, and good. Jacob Hudson with four points. Colts trail nine to eight. Terrell Reese gets it out to Jalen Subject. He'll fire up the three off the front of the iron. No good. Taylor grabs a rebound. Dante drives down low. Shot is blocked by the Colts. Jones got the rebound. His shot's blocked, but he's going to be fouled. And that's probably going to be on Jordan Wright. No. That foul is actually going to be on Norris Bourne Jr. That'll be his first. Matt Jones at the free throw line shooting too. First one won't go. Jones looking for his first points of the night. Averages 19 points a game. North Arc on top, 9 to 8, 15 20 to play. First half. Second shot. Good by Jones. It's a two point lead for North Arc. And the Colts will have the basketball facing full court pressure. They'll get it in to Doris Moore Jr. He wants to run, takes it all the way. Wow, no call on that end. We'll come the other way with it. As the shot's put on the way and in there by McCurdy. Big three from four. Colts trailing 13 to eight inside. Jordan Wright working in there. Ties that baby hook, can't get the shot to go. McCurdy grabs a rebound. Gets it outside, they'll fire it up top of the key. Driving through the lane, Hudson puts it up, shot is blocked by Jordan Wright, his second block of the night. And the ball comes down in the hands of Hudson who was stretched out on the floor. And across the line. Looks like Jordan Wright's coming out and checking in in his place will be Eli Hill. So it's Hill, subject, born, along with Reese. And uh, I believe that's Anderson out there right now. Nope, that's not, excuse me. It's number 11 for the Colts. And that is the uh, Colts, Corey Chapman. Colts driving inside the lane. Jalen subject shot will not go with the rebound. Gonna be pulled down by Jacob Hudson. 
McCurdy fires it ahead. They get it in the corner. Looking inside for Hudson. Hudson puts it up. No good. Rebound. Comes off to Jalen Subject. In traffic. Gets it across the timeline. Gets it out to Ja'Cory Chapman. Chapman to board for three. Nails it. Absolutely nails it. Norris Bourne Jr. His second three of the night. North Ark working it down low. Spin move inside. Shot put up in traffic, won't go. Rebound, blocked. And the Colts come out of there with it. That's Norris Bourne Jr. He'll fire it back out front to Jalen Subject. Over to Darrell Reese. Colts are going to set the offense here. Subject has it. Colts trailing 13 to 11. Out on the right wing, 11 seconds on the shot clock. That's Ja'Cory Chapman. Chapman works his magic, goes up high, puts it off the glass, can't get it to go. Rebound comes off to the Pioneers. Caleb Faulkner cross courts it. They'll fire it back out front, three-pointer all the way, nailing it. Nice three that time by Jacob Hudson. Hudson's got seven. Colts down by five, 16 to 11. Colts will slow it down a little bit right here. Just under 13 minutes to play first half. Jalen Subject gets it in the hands of Ja'Cory Chapman. Chapman, I think they had a hold of his arm, and that is the case. Personal foul is going to be called on Curtis Fowler. Fowler called for the personal foul. And let's see here. Looks like Matt Jones is going to check back in the lineup along with Jordan Turner. Colts will check in. Jordan Weeks for the first time tonight. Also in the lineup, A.J. Andre Lewis Jr. is in. A.J. with the basketball works his right side to Weeks. <laughs> in the corner, Darrell Reese gets it back over to Weeks. 12 seconds on the shot clock as Weeks drives inside. Can't get the shot to go. Eli Hill was in there trying to slam it home. And the Pioneers have it. They'll cross court it. And a whistle and a travel. Is that a travel or is that a whistle away from the ball? See what the call is here. The foul is going to be against number 13 for the Colts. That is uh, Jordan Weeks. Weeks is called for the personal foul, his first. Second team foul against Colts. Team fouls are even at two. Fall away shot, up and in by Matt Jones. Jones gets the basket, he's got three. Colts trail it, 18 to 11. As loose ball picked back up by Jordan Weeks. Almost a steal that time by McCurdy. Colts work it right side. Weeks has it. Jordan, pass stolen away. Jones gets it ahead to McCurdy. He takes it all the way, lays it up and in. McCurdy with the basket. He's got 10. Colts trail it by nine, 20 to 11. Long three-pointer on the way by Ja'Cory Chapman won't go. That rebound's gonna be pulled down by Fowler. Fowler gets it ahead to McCurdy. Loose ball, stripped away, saved inbounds by A.J. Weeks has it. Or that's Reese, rather, Darrell Reese. Right side, Ja'Cory Chapman, three, no. Rebound, Pioneers. That's Jordan Turner with the rebound. And the Colts will have it on the baseline. And I do believe uh, North Ark wants a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. 11-13 to play, first half. North Ark on top 20. Pilgrim's Pride Corporation is currently one of the largest chicken producers in the U.S. and delivers poultry products in more than 100 countries. Being a part of the family meal is a tremendous honor. They strive for great taste, flavor, and satisfaction in every Pilgrim's experience. People are at the heart of our business. 
Pilgrims continues to focus on providing a safe and well-managed workplace that presents the best opportunity for our team members to thrive and have a better future. A big part of this community, right here at home, Pilgrims Pride of DeQuain. Seven-point run right now for North Ark. Colts find themselves down 20 to 11 with 11-13 to play in this first half. Colts will have the basketball underneath their own basket after the timeout. Jordan Weeks, along with Andre Lewis Jr., Eli Hill, Darrell Reese, and somebody else who I can't see. Oh, there he is. It's Corey Chapman in the lineup. In the corner, Chapman puts it up from 12 feet. The runner won't go. The rebound's going to be pulled down by Dante Taylor. Pioneers have it. Taylor into the front court, working against Jordan Weeks. Pass stolen away by Darrell Reese. Drives through the lane, puts it up. No. Tip up and in by Jordan Weeks. Weeks gets the basket. His first two of the night. Colts trail it. 20 to 15, pass inside, turn around shot by Fowler, won't go, the rebound comes off to the Colts. A.J. Lewis gets it out to Weeks. Jordan backs it back out again. Left side, Chapman, deep in the corner. That's Darrell Reese, they'll get it out to Andre Lewis Jr. for three, that one's no good. And Matt Jones grabs the rebound for the Pioneers, 10-15 to play in this first half. North Ark on top, 20 to 13. Jones works it left side. They give, try to give it right back to Jones. Wasn't looking for it. The ball goes out of bounds. Caleb Faulkner tried to give it right back again. And uh, the Pioneers will turn it over. Chapman takes the inbounds pass. Reese has it back facing full court pressure. He get it ahead to, to Weeks. Jordan Weeks goes baseline, puts it up in traffic. No call, rebound, comes off to Fowler and the Pioneers. Pass goes left side, pull it up, 18-footer, no. Rebound comes off to A.J. Lewis. Andre on the drive, gets in the corner. Chapman fires up to three, won't go. And the rebound's gonna be picked up by Dante Taylor of the Pioneers. They'll fire it out front, long three-pointer, no good. Rebound inside, Fowler has the shot blocked from behind. A.J. Lewis called for the personal foul. Lewis doing the only thing he could in that situation, trying to prevent that easy basket. Heading to the free throw line will be Curtis Fowler. Fowler looking for his first points of the night as a team. North Ark, one out of two at the free throw line tonight. Make it one out of three as that one's off the back of the iron. No good for Curtis. Fowler will have another one coming here. Colts down 20 to 13 as Terrell Reese checks out. Norris Bourne Jr. back in the lineup for the Colts. So it's Bourne along with Weeks, Lewis, Hill, and Kayvon Wally in the lineup for the Colts. Second free throw by Fowler is good. And Fowler comes out of the lineup. Matt Jones checks back in after a quick uh, break. Nine and a half minutes to play first half. Colts have it in the backcourt. Norris Bourne Jr. picks up the dribble, gets it over to Kayvon Wally. Wally to Norris. Bourne gets it across the midcourt stripe, needs some help out there. But manages to get it ahead to Eli Hill, dumps it down low. Shot put up by A.J., no good. Coming the other way. Shot rejected by Eli Hill. They'll get it out to MBJ for the three. Bourne's three won't go. That rebound's hauled down by Dante Taylor. Back and forth, back and forth. Both these teams score a lot. They just haven't done so here in this first half yet. Underneath, taking the charge, Eli Hill. And the personal foul will be called against Jacob Hudson, his first personal foul. Colts down by eight, 21-13. 8.49 to play as Jalen Subject checks in to make the inbounds pass. Andre Lewis Jr. will come out. 
Norris Bourne Jr. out there, gets it over to Kayvon Wally, back over to Jalen Subject. Subject gives it right back to Kayvon Wally. Back over to Subject across the timeline. He gets it over to Kayvon. Wally out near midcourt. 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. Kayvon works around the screen, tries to go low, scoops it up and in. Nice move on the basket by Kayvon. He's got seven. Colts down by six. Three-pointer, no good. Going high to grab that rebound. Wally, Kayvon on the attack. Pass inside, stolen away by Matt Jones. They were looking for Hill, but Matt got into that passing lane, stole it away, made it look easy. Pass down low. Hudson working, puts it up, no. Rebound, Hudson oh, to uh, the Colts' Jalen Subject. Oh, nice steal that time by Dante Taylor. That kid <laughs> ahead to Hudson for the easy basket. Nice steal that time by Taylor. Hudson with a basket, he's got nine. We've got a timeout on the court. 7.44 to play, first half. North Arc, 23, Colts, 15. Back in a moment on N88 Radio. In the city of life <laughs> And the bad street bends in the neon lights When I heard the thunder I could feel the rain It's a sound of me, just different Colts basketball on NADARadio.com being brought to you by Pilgrim's Pride, by McDonald's of Southwest Arkansas, and Coca-Cola of Nashville. After the timeout, Colts will have the basketball trailing 23-15. Shot on the way, Jordan Weeks, three-pointer. Weeks with five points in the ball game. That's a big three right there. Colts down by five, 23-18. Matt Jones takes the three. They left him open, couldn't get it to go though. And the rebound comes off to Eli Hill in traffic, fires it across the way. Touch pass over to Norris Bourne Jr. NBJ steps back for the three and nails it. Norris Bourne Jr. His third three of the night. Colts have four as a team and it's a two point lead as the Colts tip it away, Eli Hill defensively knocking that ball out of bounds. North Arc will have it across the way, leading by two, 23-21. Seven minutes to play, first half. Pass inside to Jones, gets it back out to Hudson. Hudson is hammered as he goes to the basket. We'll see if that's on Hill or Actually, they're going to say no. Okay, Jalen Subjects are going to be called for the personal foul. Okay. I thought he held up four fingers, and I'm going, um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Darrell Reese is on the bench, I think. It's actually on uh, Jalen Subject, his first. At the free throw line will be Jacob Hudson. Hudson's got nine points, make it ten. He's in double figures already. We still got 6.57 to play in this first half. As Eli Hill comes out, Jordan Wright checks back in. It's a cold swap out big men at this free throw opportunity. Second shot on the way by Hudson. Off the middle of that glass and he put it down. Colts find themselves down by four, 25-21. Jalen Subject gets it across the midcourt stripe. Norris Moore Jr. Jordan Wright takes the shot from the corner, can't get it to go. Now rebound is going to be pulled down by the Pioneers, Brian Jones. Down low on the baseline, that's Matt Jones. Has it tipped away, ball goes out of bounds, last touch by, Matt, uh, by the uh, Colts. 
They have been Jordan Weeks over there to get a hand on it. So it's Weeks. Subject, right. Wally and Bourne in the lineup for the Colts. Pass underneath. That's Jones. Brian Jones gives it to Matt Jones. And Matt Jones knocks it down. Matt with a three. He's got six. Colts down by seven. 28-21. Just over six minutes to play in this first half. We got a whistle away from the basketball. I think that's going to be on Brian Jones as he was battling back there with Jordan Wright. Brian Jones called for the personal foul. That's his first. Fourth team foul against the uh, Pioneers. Team fouls are even at four apiece. Norris Bourne Jr. bounce pass into Kayvon Wally. To Jordan Wright in the corner. With it down, there's Jalen uh, uh, Subject. He gets it off to Jordan Weeks in the lane. And a blocking foul, late call. But Weeks is going to be fouled. Wasn't sure they would call that at first. That's going to be on Hudson. I'm not doubting the validity of that call. It just seemed like it was a little bit late there. Thought Hudson had gotten by with it for a moment. At the free throw line. Jordan Weeks puts it up and in. Weeks having a good first half. He's got six points. Colts trail it, 28-22. Weeks will have another free throw coming here. 5.59 to play first half. Weeks sends it on the way, and it is good. Jordan with seven points now. And the Colts are within five, 28-23. Just under six minutes to play in this first half. Pass down low. Turn around shot, off the glass, won't go, and the rebound's gonna be fought for, picked up by the Colts. Weeks gets it to Norris Bourne Jr., left side. With the basketball, that subject, Jalen, out on the left wing to Kayvon Wally, gets it into Jordan Wright. Wright wants to work inside, has the ball almost stripped away, and now it's picked up by Brian Jones of the Pioneers. McCurdy had it. Feet came out from under him. Ball goes out of bounds, and the Colts get it right back again. Trailing 28-23. 5-24 to play. First half. Norris Bourne Jr. with the inbounds pass. Bourne into the hands of Wally. Kayvon walks it to the near side. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Subject. Outside the lane, fires it down low. Weeks, pounded inside, puts it up, can't get it to go with the rebound, Matt Jones. Jones gets it ahead to McCurdy. Out front, three-pointer on the way by Jones, won't go, and the rebound comes off to the Colts, Kayvon Wally. Kayvon working. 15 seconds on the shot clock. He'll take the three and nail it. Kayvon Wally with a three. He's got 10. Colts with him two, 28-26. Working out front. Matt Jones in the corner. Pulls up inside the arc. Can't get it to go. The rebound comes off to Kayvon Wally. Wally across the midcourt stripe. Works inside. Little push in there. Jordan Wright had it. And he gets it stripped away as McCurdy comes the other way behind the back pass to Taylor. Dante finishes. Give McCurdy the assist. Dante Taylor with a basket. His first two of the night. North Park back on top by four. 30 to 26. Davon Wally working up top. Over on the left wing to Doris Bourne Jr. He's got McCurdy all over him. They'll get it to Kayvon Wally. Fires it back out to Doris Bourne Jr. He's got the hot hand tonight if he gets some room. <laughs> Three-pointer by Doris Bourne Jr. as the shot clock was about to expire. Wright chases down the rebound. Gets it to MBJ inside. To Jordan Weeks. And the crowd comes alive on that stuff by Jordan Weeks. 
Colts down by two, 30 to 28, three-pointer on the way, no. Rebound comes off to Jalen Subject, fired ahead to Weeks and he can't catch up with it. So close. Jordan Weeks fired up those kids from Ashdown with that stuff. He's gonna come out of the lineup, as does Jordan Wright. Andre Lewis Jr. checks back into the lineup along with Eli Hill. So it's Wally, Lewis, Bourne, Subject, and Hill in the lineup for the Colts. Down by two with 3.11 to play in this first half. 30 to 28. Out on the left wing, that's McCurdy. Takes it all the way, he's gonna draw the foul. And that's probably gonna be on Norris Bourne Jr. He was in the vicinity. And it is. NBJ called for the personal foul. That's his second. He's hit three threes tonight. Fifth team foul against the Colts. At the free throw line. That's McCurdy. He sends it on the way and it's good. McCurdy on the night. I said that's McCurdy. That's not McCurdy. Yes, it is McCurdy. I'm sorry. George McCurdy, the fourth. He's got 11. He'll have another, point, another attempt coming here. That one is good. So McCurdy stakes the Pioneers to a four-point lead at 32-28. Jalen Subject needs some help in the backcourt. Gets it ahead. Shot at the uh, free throw line by Anderson. Won't go. And that rebound is going to be hauled down by the uh, Jakari Carroll. And the ball stolen away by Andre Lewis Jr. Gets it ahead to Eli Hill, went up for the shot. He's gonna be fouled by Matt, or that's not Matt Jones, that's number 10. And that'll be uh, Jakari Carroll Newton. Newton called for the personal foul. And at the free throw line, that's gonna be Eli Hill. Elijah looking for his first points of the night. Colts down by four. 32-28, 2.38 to play in this first half. That shot by Hill, no good. First missed free throw of the night by the Colts. They're three out of four on the night. North Arc, six out of eight. Second shot up and in. The Hill gets his first point of the night. And the Colts trail it by three, 32-29. That's McCurdy. Gets it outside the arc, fires up the three. No, rebound, came on Wally. Colts will set the offense here. Wally walks it down. 2.20 to play, first half. Wally out beyond the arc. Works it left side, Andre Lewis Jr. AJ gets it back to Wally. Oh, no look pass in the corner. Now they get it over to Subject, out on the left wing. Little push inside, and Subject gets it to go down. Boy, that was quite a battle that time. Subject gets the basket. That's his first two, Colts. Cut it to one, 32-31. A minute 45 to play in this first half. Pass inside, shot put up and in by Curtis Fowler. He's got three, Colts down by three, 34-31. A minute 30 to play, first half. Kayvon Wally cross courts it. Andre Lewis Jr., AJ in the corner. That's Anderson, Anderson gets it out to Lewis. Lewis back to Anderson. Pass on the baseline to Jalen Subject. Dumps it down low. Hill fights his way up and in. Elijah Hill with the basket, he's got three. Colts down by one, 34-33. A minute five to play in the first half. Newton dishes off. Newton's alone out there beyond the arc, fires it up. And it's in there. Newton with the basket. Colts find themselves down by four, 37-33. Gives a three-pointer by Newton. As the Colts down to 40 seconds in this first half. Wally goes all the way underneath. Hill gets the rebound, can't get it to go. The rebound comes off to the Pioneers, to McCurdy. Gets it in the corner. Driving, they'll fire it right back out again for three, no. That rebound picked up inside, Fowler. 
Puts it up, can't get it to go. Looks like Newton may be down on the court right now. Big collision down low at the free throw line. Will be Curtis Fowler. Colts had to foul to prevent that easy basket down there. So Curtis will be at the free throw line. Fowler, one out of two at the free throw line tonight. He's got three points in the ball game. 17.8 seconds left to go in this first half. North Ark on top, 37-33. Shots on the way by Fowler, and it is good. Fowler with four points. And the Colts trail it by five, 38-33. Checking into the lineup is Jordan Turner for North Ark. Second shot by Fowler, off the front of the iron, no good. There's Turner to grab that rebound. Three-pointer on the way, off the glass, and good by Newton. Big three by Newton. He's got a pair of them. The Colts are down by eight. 41-33. Three seconds to go. First half, three-pointer on the way by Anderson. Won't go. We've come to the end of the first half of play. Our score, North Ark 41, Colts 33. We're back in a moment on NADA Radio. Falls around the corner, and so is your Husqvarna dealer. Husqvarna is known for high-performing, durable, and innovative products. So is it any wonder why your Husqvarna dealer is the best in the business at what they do? Providing products, maintenance, parts, and accessories whenever and wherever you need them. With a nationwide network of dealers, you don't have to go far. Visit Husqvarna.com to find a dealer or retailer near you. It's halftime here at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium where the Colts find themselves down 41-33 at intermission as North Ark getting 12 points in that first half from George McCurdy Jr., or the, the fourth, excuse me. I keep calling him Jr. He's actually the fourth. He's hit a couple of threes in that first half. 11 points in the first half for Jacob Hudson, who's been a force inside. Also, uh, six points in the first half for uh, Jacari Curl Newton, and six points for Matt Jones. Looks like four points in the first half for Curtis Fowler and two points for Dante Taylor. Meanwhile, the Colts are led by Kayvon Wally, who finished the first half with 10. Nine points each for Jordan Weeks and uh, Norris Board Jr. Board getting his threes, all, or his nine points, all from three-point land. Three points in the first half for Elijah Hill and two points for Jalen Subject. Again, our score at the intermission it's North Ark 41, Colts 33, and we'll be back in a moment here on N88radio.com. Hello, my name is Melissa Lutz. I am an ESL instructor here in Adult Ed on the DeQueen campus. We offer English as Second Language classes, citizenship classes, and also help students pass the GED in order for them to get their high school equivalency diploma. Our English classes are dynamic. They're designed to build students' skills in reading, writing, speaking, and listening. We offer classes in four different levels, so from basic beginner all the way through to advanced. And within our English classes, students are learning digital literacy skills, employability skills, financial, health literacy, and civics. Our students come to us for many different reasons. They take English classes for personal enrichment, uh, to prepare for college, to better communicate with family members, their children in English, and um, to just feel more comfortable speaking English in the community. We also offer uh, career English classes 
through a program called Burlington English. So students can study English specific to the career that they wish to pursue or the English specific to the job they have right now. So for example, if an ESL student wishes to go into nursing, we have a course specific for nursing with medical vocabulary, soft skills, uh, real life interactive uh, um, scenarios, and all this helps them to prepare for that career. And we offer over 180 specialized career courses through this program. So we're really excited that we can offer that. Um, our citizenship classes um, prepare students for their reading, writing, um, and oral and civics tests. We conduct mock interviews so that students can get a real feel for what their naturalization interview will be like and, and feel a lot more confident going in. We also help students um, pass their GED test um, so that they can go to college or get a better job. And what many people don't know is we offer this in Spanish too. They can take their GED test in Spanish also and we can help them do that. So whether students need to learn English, improve their English, um, get their GED, pass their GED, prepare for citizenship, please come see us, we can help you. Not only here on the DeQueen campus, but also in Ashton, Nashville, and we have an instructor in Amity, um, so that's the Glenwood area also. So please come see us. And I'd like to introduce two of our students and get their personal thoughts on how our services has, have helped them. Hi, my name is Dulce Herrera, and I want to tell you how attending the adult school and taking English as a second language has benefited me. The most important benefit that English classes have given me is being able to have better communication with my children. Now I know what they talk to each other about. I know what kind of TV programs they watch and if they have age-appropriate language for them. I can also help them with their homework now. Another benefit that English classes had given me is related to my business. This is supported by my Latino race, and I'm so grateful for that. But now, thanks to English, my business is expanding with other culture, and in turn, I'm making new friends. I love reading books. I have read many books in Spanish, but now I have I started reading books in English and that filled me with pride because it's a dream come true. I'm sharing this because I want you to also enjoy the benefits that learn another language bring. There are classes for different levels of English and different schedule. If you can come in the morning, maybe you can come in the afternoon. And if you can attend the classes, they have computers, programs to learn English. If you have computer at home, you can do it from home. The famous person said, fear is the barrier between who you are and who you could become. My name is Beatriz Cervantes. As an immigrant, wife and mother, it's difficult to obtain an academic education. Personally, I told, I would fail and became intimidated with that idea. The main reason for my fear and intimidation was I didn't speak English. I couldn't even put three words together. However, this changed when I made a decision to attend UA Cossetel Adult Education. I love my English classes. Now, I feel a lot motivated and accomplished thanks to adult education and the support of my family. I was able to accomplish so much in the program. Here there are great resources and amazing instructors that provide us the tools and means to accomplish our goals. I have several goals. I'm going to improve my English, get my GD, and prepare for college. 
the best part of UAC adult education is it's free. Come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Queen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard has everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. Inside, there's lining, plumbing parts, cabinets, cooking supplies, and even a cell on generators. Open Monday through Saturday in DeQueen. Bailey's Building Supply, 870-642-2851. I'm Barbara Dixon and this is Anna Belcher and we're with Southern Bancor Bank. Southern is a different kind of bank. Um, we are a designated community development financial institution and our main focus, our mission is to be involved in and serve the community. And um, what makes us different is we offer traditional banking services, but we also offer other services um, that help strengthen our community to teach them financial literacy and to help them um, to build credit, understand credit, and to uh, make good, wise choices. Some of the programs we offer, we have a learning center that covers everything from savings to loans to small business, housing. There's also a section of that uh, website that is designated for youth that's broken up by age groups so you can get um, financial literacy information for your children on that website. There's a section for senior citizens as well. Um, we also offer free credit review. We will help you pull your free credit report, go over it with you, give you the resources to review it and to know what to look for. We offer a credit builder CD loan to help you start building credit history or to improve your credit history. We also offer free counseling services, whether you wanna just do a budget or just ask questions, uh, that service is free and it's all free to customers and non-customers alike. We offer free home ownership counseling services. We offer free income tax preparation through the VITA program. It's a voluntary income tax preparation assistance program. And for consumers who qualify, we prepare their taxes free. We will be doing that right here in the Locksburg branch. A lot of what uh, Southern does is they try to strengthen the community, it, the businesses and individuals a lot. And we are considered, our, one of our models is to be wealth builders for everyone. And one of the primary ways we start that is by teaching savings habits. And Anna is going to tell you a little bit about some of those. We have a few savings products that's going on right now. One is our roundup savings. Every time you use your debit card, you can either round up to the next dollar amount or you can round up a, a certain dollar, whether it's one or five, just whatever is convenient for you. And we also have what is called an app that you can download and the app is called Envy. And it is a savings game. It's a hundred days process and you determine how much you want to save in 100 days and every day that you go into the app you open the envelope and it may transfer a dollar it may transfer two dollars whatever is in that envelope on that app that day is how much it transferred to your savings account we also have what we call a CD credit builder loan if you are just starting out and getting credit or you've just graduated from school and you're having a hard time uh, getting credit because you have no credit score or even if you've had past uh, negative credit, then you can come in and we can start you out with credit of, of a CD loan and that also gives you a CD. When you pay your loan off, that CD is your money. And Southern uh, believes in Sevier County. We believe in empowering our community and we are thankful to be here in Sevier County and we look forward to serving Sevier County and the people in this community for years to come. Selena's Satellite Service in DeQueen is a corporate partner of Ed88. 
Salinas is a Southwest Arkansas Dish Network provider offering all the latest package deals. And if you should encounter a problem, Salinas experienced service technicians are just a phone call away. The very latest in Dish Network home entertainment equipment can be found at Salinas Satellite in downtown DeQueen. Casa Tot Colts merchandise is now available at the ERCs in DeQueen, Ashdown, and Nashville. Come on in and let our friendly staff show you around. We have a lot to choose from, including t-shirts in a variety of styles, colors, caps, hoodies, polos, long sleeve t-shirts. We have joggers and stuff like coffee mugs and insulated thermal tumblers, as well as flash drives, lanyards, and power bank chargers. Just let the staff know what you need, and who knows, they might even model it for you. Show your Casa Tot school spirit. Get your Colts merchandise today at an ERC near you. Let's go time, folks. As the Colts and the Pioneers have 20 more minutes of basketball left. North Arc on top at the intermission, 41-33. In case you joined us late, the Lady Pioneers came away with a victory tonight. 72-59, took the lead in the second quarter, never looked back. Led by a dozen at the half. Led by 19 after three, and wound up winning by 13. As the Lady Colts were able to cut it to uh, single digits after being down by 19 at one point, cut it back to seven but couldn't quite get over the hump. As we're set to get underway, Jonathan Anderson, Kayvon Wally, Jordan Wright, along with Jalen Subject, and Doris Board Jr. in the lineup for the Colts. Dante Taylor takes the inbounds pass for the Pioneers. Oh, nice cut to the basket. That's McCurdy made it look easy. Taylor with a great pass. McCurdy's got 14. Colts down by 10, 43-33. Wally with the basketball up top, directing traffic. Norris Bourne Jr. out on the right wing. Down to 11 seconds on that shot clock. NBJ out there, he hit three threes in the first half. He gets it to Subject. Subject takes it hard to the rack. Can't get it to go, but he's gonna be fouled. And the whistle of the foul is gonna be against the Pioneers, number 22, that's Caleb Faulkner. Faulkner called for the personal foul. To be his first, and Jalen Subject heading to the free throw line to shoot a pair of free throws. Subject on the night. If he knocks that one down, Jalen, Jalen that is, with uh, three points now. That was his first free throw attempt of the night. Colts now four out of five at the free throw line. Make it five out of six. Colts get it back to eight, 43-35. In the corner, bounce pass down low, and a reaching foul going to be called on Jordan Wright. Pioneers put it in play under the, under the basket. Shot won't go in the rebound. Chased down by Faulkner. He'll fire it back out to McCurdy. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Matt Jones working against Jalen Subject. Ah, nice steal that time. Kayvon Wallace slapped it away. NBJ puts it off the glass and good. Long three-pointer. Norris Bourne Jr. Pulls up from way beyond the arc out on the left side. And the Colts are down by five, 43-38. Fourth three-pointer of the night by Norris Moore Jr. taking it all away as Jordan Wright is there to block that shot. Loose ball picked up by Kayvon Wally. Good hustle. Here come the Colts in the corner. That's going to be Norris Moore Jr. for three. It's good. Ian B.J. He's got 15. Colts down by two, 43-41. As driving through the lane, laying it up no good. Colts get it back. Kayvon Wally on the attack. Gets it out 
to Jalen Subject. He'll try the three, can't get it to go, and the rebound's gonna be pulled down by McCurdy. They fired out, three-pointer other way by Faulkner, no good. And that rebound is gonna be chased down by Kayvon Wally. Colts with an opportunity or to tie it up, or, well, if Norris Moore Jr. shoots again, they could possibly take the lead. Five three-pointers tonight for Norris. Pulls up, 12-footer. That's an air ball. The rebound's going to be pulled down by Matt Jones. Now come quickly the other way. McCurdy went all the way, laid it up, got it to roll in. McCurdy has found a brand-new gear that time. The Colts down by four, 45-41. Kayvon Wally out on the left wing to Anderson. Jonathan gets it inside to Jordan Wright. He's working, has it slapped away. Picked up by Dante T Turner. Taylor, that is. To Matt Jones, turnaround shot just outside the lane, up and in. Such a quick release for Matt Jones. He's got eight. Came in averaging 19 on the, on the uh, season. Colts down by six, 47-41. Doris Moore Jr. Outside it goes to Jalen Subject. Jalen drives hard on the basket. Can't get the shot to go, trying to draw the foul. And the rebound comes off to Matt Jones, to McCurdy. At the free throw line, bounce pass back out to Jones. Jones tries to attack, free throw line. Pass down low. Spin move inside, and losing the ball out of bounds will be Jacob Hudson. Hudson facing some pressure down low. Looks like Jalen Subject's gonna come out. Jordan Wright comes out as does Doris Bourne Jr. No, Doris is gonna stay in. So it's Bourne, Hill, Anderson, along with Wally and Andre Lewis Jr. lineup for the Colts. Trailing 47-41. 16-20 to play. Kayvon Wally works it left side. Doris Bourne Jr. drives through the lane, puts it up, had no, has it stripped away. Loose ball picked up, put up no good. And the rebound's going to be hauled down by the big guy underneath. That's Fowler. Curtis fires it ahead. McCurdy takes it as it's swatted away by Eli Hill. Eli with a block. Taylor gets it in. Matt Jones. Jones working on the baseline. He's got Andre Lewis on him. Oh, big collision out there, blocking foul. Gonna be called on Eli Hill. Couldn't get to that spot in time. The blocking foul on Eli. And that'll be his first. Actually, they're gonna say that's his second. Okay, they should know. Wipe up some perspiration down there under the basket. Colts trailing by six, 47-41. Just under 16 minutes to play in this game. Colts looking for their first victory in conference play this season. They'll get it in, way out front, long three-pointer on the way, good. That's Jordan Turner with his first points of the night. Colts down by nine, 50 to 41. Kayvon Wally drives through the lane, puts it up and in. Kayvon, he's got 12. That's Jones at the uh, top of the key. Turner will fire up the three, and he nails it. Jordan Turner, back-to-back -back threes. And the Colts are down by 10, 53-43. 15-04 to play in the game. 
Back in a moment on NADA Radio. Lee Cassatot Physical Therapist Assistant and Occupational Therapy Assistant programs in Ashdown are designed to give our students the skills needed to be job ready in only 30 months. At UA Cassatot, our instructors are knowledgeable and experienced. Our classes are affordable and small. And our facilities are big and well equipped. And you'll find our graduates on the job all over the four states area. And that's something to celebrate. Application deadline is March 1st. UA Casita, your career starts here. Our PTA and OTA classes take place on our Ashdown campus, and it's Ashdown night here at the Bank of Locksburg Historic Gym. But uh, I don't know, a couple hundred Ashdown school students here to cheer on their Colts. Right now, they need all the help they can get. North Arc on top by 10, 53-43. If you want a th thankless job, be a referee. <laughs> Both coaching staffs have been giving the uh, refs near full tonight, but frankly, I thought they'd done a pretty good job tonight. You can't catch everything. Every player doesn't make every play, and every play that the coaches call is not perfect. And Tell you what, referees are under a lot of pressure nowadays. Bounce pass right side, A.J. Lewis fires it cross court. Anderson trying to go underneath, looking for Eli Hill, knocking it out of bounds. There's Curtis Fowler getting a hand on it, tipping it out of bounds for the Pioneers. 14.55 to go in the game. And it looks like Jordan Weeks is gonna come in. Jonathan Anderson coming out. Weeks had nine points in that first half coming off the bench. He'll trigger the inbounds pass. He gets it into Hill, and the pass tipped out of bounds by the Pioneers. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Weeks will try again. Colts down by 10, 53-43, lob pass. Stolen away. McCurdy takes it all the way and jams it home. George McCurdy, the fourth. He's got 18 points. Came in averaging 10 a game. Having a big night. Colts down by a dozen. Pass underneath. Eli Hill goes up strong, puts it up and in. Eli lost the handle. It wasn't exactly pretty, but it worked. Matt Hill, no look pass inside. And the shot is blocked. Fowler goes down hard, and the personal foul is going to be called on Eli Hill. Elijah called for his third. Head to the free throw line will be the big guy, Curtis Fowler. Fowler's got four points in the ball game. He's two out of three at the free throw line tonight. All of his points in the first half. 14-21 to play in the game. Colts down by 10, 55-45. Shots on the way, and it is no good. Fowler, two out of four at the free throw line. Second shot, no good. And the Colts grab the rebound. Opportunity to cut into that double-digit lead here. At 55-45. Pass down, right side. Darrell Reese for three. No. That rebound fought for it. Can't get it to go. Weeks wasn't off or defensive basket interference on the other hand. That's Taylor, Dante with a basket. Meanwhile, on the other end, Colts try to get down there quickly. Eli can't hold on to it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Taylor now with four points in the ball game for the Pioneers. North Arc with a 12 point lead in the basketball. Just under 14 minutes to play in the game. Dante Taylor walking across the timeline for the Pioneers. He gets it over to Jordan Turner. They'll get it inside now. Hudson, bounce pass out on the perimeter. They'll whip it around to McCurdy. He attacks, floats it up from eight feet, up and in. 
McCurdy, nice touch. He's got 20. Colts down by 14. Certainly is here in the second half. Bounce pass Hill. Got the pass into the hands of Andre Lewis Jr. AJ got the shot off. He's fouled in the act of shooting. He's going to the free throw line. And the foul will be called against Jordan Turner. Turner's first personal foul. AJ at the free throw line looking for his first points of the night. That one won't go. Colts five out of eight at the free throw line tonight. Make it six out of nine as that one's up and good. Colts down by 13, 69 to 46. It should be 59 to 46. Pass in the corner, three pointer on the way by Dante Taylor. Won't go, uh, uh, shot won't go. The rebound's picked up by Matt Hill. He puts it right back up and in. So Hill, or Matt Jones, I should say, with the basket. He's got 10. Colts in the backcourt. Hill has it. Elijah Hill in the side of the lane gets it off to Chet. And Jacory shot off the glass and good. So Jacory Chapman gets his first two of the night. Colts down by 13. Steal. That's Chapman going all the way, lays it up and in. Chapman with back to back baskets, and the Colts cut it back to 11, 61 50. Full court pressure. Taylor has it up top. Dante working against Jacory Chapman. Taylor looks inside, Matt Hill has it outside the lane, turn around shot, no. Rebound, Darrell Reese trying to come up with it. Hudson able to get a hand on it. Reese almost had it. The ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Darrell. And McCurdy's gonna come out, as will Matt Hill. Check again, will be Newton. And also coming into the lineup is Jordan, is, excuse me, that's uh, uh, Caleb Faulkner. 12.09 to play in the ball game. Colts down 61-50. Taylor will trigger the inbounds pass. Bounce pass inside. Hudson puts it up and in. Hudson had the inside position. Made it look easy. When you're that tall, I guess it is. Pass down low, that's Elijah Hill. In traffic, puts it up, rattles it down, it goes in. He's going to the free throw line after being fouled by Caleb Faulkner. That'll be his second. At the free throw line, Eli Hill. Hill on the night, seven points. One out of two at the free throw line this evening. So it's Hill, Weeks, Reese. Chapman and Andre Lewis Jr. in the lineup. Shot by Hill, won't go. And the rebound's gonna be pulled down by Hudson. Underneath, loose ball, Newton had a hand on it. Who, Colts will have it. Jordan Ryan's coming in, Eli Hill's coming out. Colts will have it on the far end. Trailing 63-52. 11.49 left in the ball game. As Chapman has it. Comes across the mid-court side. Chapman lost the footing. Bounce pass left side. A.J. Lewis in the corner. Gordon Weeks back to Lewis. He'll fire up the three. Can't. Gonna be by Hudson. Dante Taylor off the drive, fires it back out. Hudson will fire up the three and knock it down. Jacob Hudson, his second three of the night. He's got 16. Colts down 66 40, uh, 52. By Jalen Subject, uh, Jalen Subject getting set to check back in the lineup. Colts right side, Darrell Reese in the corner. Chicoy Chapman. Fires it back out front. Andre Lewis Jr. pulls it up from the free throw line. Can't get that shot to go. Their rebound 
is picked up by Turner. Jordan Turner, cross court. Three pointer on the way in there. Caleb Faulkner with his first points of the night. And the Colts are down by 17. 69, 52. Right side, driving down low. That's Andre Lewis Jr. Gets it back out in the corner. They'll step up, take the two pointer. Nope, rebound. Comes off to Turner. Turner, give it to Dante Taylor. Taylor walks it across the timeline. 10.05 to play. Pass down low. Hudson all alone puts it up and in. Nice pass inside. Hudson down with 18. Colts down by 19. Timeout on the court. 9.56 to play in the ball game. Colts trail it. 71-52. Back after this from Coca-Cola on N88 Radio. For those living together and those living apart. For classmates, graduates, and teachers making the best of it. For the restaurants delivering to our doorsteps. For the frontline workers putting it on the line every single day. For this great nation determined to be stronger on the other side. Thanks to all of you, we'll be together again. find themselves down here in the second half by 19, 71-52. They'd cut it to two after trailing by eight at the half. North Arc hitting from the perimeter. They've knocked down what? How many threes in this second half? Well, let's see here. It looks like well, only one three, I guess, but uh, and that was by, uh, excuse me, they've hit three threes in the second half, two of those by Jordan Turner. So we're set to get underway here. Kayvon Wally, Jordan Wright, along with Norris Board Jr., Jalen Subject, Edge and Corey Chapman in the lineup for the Colts. Down by 19. Almost 10 minutes left, but you got to make a move. Kayvon Wally drives through, and let's see. Pioneers trying to save it inbounds. The Colts trigger the inbounds pass. They get it in. The Jordan Wright in traffic has it stripped away. Jordan Turner came up with a loose ball. Gets it ahead to George McCurdy. McCurdy to Hudson. Hudson inside the lane working against Jordan Wright. Puts it up and in. Jacob Hudson. He's got 20. And the Pioneers up by 21, 73-52, have it back. Just over nine minutes left in the ball game. Now they're gonna leave Newton alone out there. He'll take it. Can't get it to go. That rebound goes out of bounds. Turner was trying to chase it down. Just couldn't quite get there. Good hustle. Colts will check in. Norris Board Jr. Excuse me, that's not Norris. That's going to be uh, coming in for the Colts. I think that's easy. Joku has checked in the lineup here, right? Pass down low. Eli Hill lays it off the glass. No, gets his own rebound, tips it up and in. Hill now with uh, nine points in the ball game. Colts had the basketball back. Bailey by 19, 73, 54. Dante Taylor back in the lineup for the Pioneers. Kayvon Wally directing traffic. Colts work it right side. Norris Board Jr. NBJ gets it back out foot. Wally, eight seconds on the shot clock. Wally attacks. Has it slapped away in the air and coming away with it. 
will be Brian Jones. He'll get it ahead to Dante Taylor. And the Pioneers have it back. Just over eight minutes to go with this game. McCurdy on the perimeter. Bounce pass up foot to Taylor, or to a Newton, that is. Now he goes to Taylor. Dante Taylor. Bounce pass inside. Hudson turnaround shot. Can't get it to go. And the shot clock violation, so the Colts get it back on the turnover. It's like Ben Jones is going to come into the lineup. It's easy at Joku. He's going to come back out of the lineup. Norris Moore Jr., along with Eli Hill, Jalen Subject, Terrell Reese, and Kayvon Wally on the court right now for the Colts. Kayvon works it right wing. Terrell Reese. Reese drives through, puts it up. He's going to be fouled. And that may be on Matt Jones, just judging by the body language over there. Personal foul is on Matt Jones. That'll be Jones's first personal foul tonight. Darrell Reese at the free throw line. Reese looking for his first points. Colts down by 19, 73-54. Shots on the way, and it is no good. Seven twenty-nine left in the game. Darrell with another shot here. Colts need every point they can get. That one's up and in. Reese cuts the lead down to 18. 73-55. Colts with a full court pressure. They'll fire it down. Get it to Matt Jones. Drives inside. Shot is blocked. Swatted away. Picked up by the Colts. That's Kayvon Wally in the lane. Lays it up and in. Wally. Nice move on the basket for Kayvon. Wally with 14. Steal. But stolen back by Dante Taylor. Taylor gets it ahead to McCurdy. McCurdy out on the right wing. Timeout on the court. Our score. It's North Ark, 73. Colts, 57. 6.55 remaining. We're back in a moment on NADA Radio. Wilkerson Funeral Home was established by the Wilkerson family in 1929. Fred Wilkerson Sr. built a reputation on serving others, putting families first, and operating with the highest standards of professionalism. With locations in DeQueen and Dirks, families of Southwest Arkansas continue to choose Wilkerson Funeral Home for their dependability, professionalism, and a staff that has acquired over 125 years of combined experience in the funeral business. Supporting our community and area schools, Wilkerson Funeral Home, and online at wilkersonfuneralhomes.com. Check out that crowd tonight. A lot of folks here. Ashdown Schools night here at the UA Casa Todd Bank of Locksburg Historic Gymnasium. Record setting attendance for us. We appreciate Ashdown Schools for bringing the kids up here tonight. They've done their part. Man, they have cheered from start to finish. Colts need all the help they can get down by 16, 73, 57, with just under seven minutes to go in this ball game. Out front, Dante Taylor, the Pioneers. Working against Kayvon Wally. Wally steals it away. Kayvon. Outside the lane, goes inside the lane, puts it up, and what do they call it here? Traveling on Kayvon Wally. So, Pioneers have it back, facing some, some pressure in the backcourt. Dante Taylor will bring it across the timeline. Six and a half minutes to play. Colts down, 73-57. McCurdy, out on that left wing. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Dante Taylor. Somebody's coming out right now for the Pioneers. As checking back into the lineup will be Caleb Faulkner. He's had three points in this ball game tonight. Colts have it. 
Kayvon Wally. He's got 14 points on the evening. Second only to North Sport Jr.'s 15. All of those from beyond the arc. As Jalen Dubji did a good job, drew the foul. Hudson stepped into him. Jacob called for his third personal foul. And at the free throw line for the Colts will be Jalen Subject. Subject two out of two at the free throw line tonight. He's got two points in the ball game. Still has two as that one's off the front of the iron. No good. Actually, he's got four points in the ball game. Had two points in the first half. Two out of three at the free throw line here in the second half. Second shot. Ribs out, no good. Rebound comes off to Hudson. Pioneers have it. Taylor working at midcourt. Gets it across the line. Gets it out to Matt Jones. Jones working beyond the arc. Out to Faulkner. Faulkner cross courts it to Taylor. In the corner, three-pointer on the way. Turner shot will go. Matt Jones grabs the rebound. Get a fresh 20 seconds. Pass down low. Hudson couldn't control it. That was a heck of a pass that time. Maybe too good. As Darrell Reese will step back, take the three, can't get it to go. Rebound comes off to Turner. Turner to Taylor. Dante walks it down. 5.15 to play in the game. Colts down by 16. 71. 73, 57. Pass inside, slapped away. Picked up by Doris Board Jr. He'll fire up the three. In there! We missed that. He had, well, that's, I guess that's his third three in this uh, second half. He had three in the first half. The Colts steal it away. Coming the other way, Kayvon Wally. Takes it all the way, lays it up and in. Wally with the basket. And... North Ark wants a timeout. Our score, Pioneer 73, Colts 62. Back in a moment on N88 Radio. For those living together and those living apart, for classmates, graduates, and teachers making the best of it. For the restaurants delivering to our doorsteps. For the frontline workers putting it on the line every single day. For this great nation determined to be stronger on the other side. Thanks to all of you, we'll be together again. North Ark will have the basketball. After this timeout, Colson hit a three, and then uh, it was Kayvon Wally with a steal, taking it in for the layup. And the Colts are still down by 11, 73-62. Still some time left. The Colts can't afford to waste any time here. As they'll set up the full court pressure, Terrell Reese, low with Andre Lewis Jr., Kayvon Wally. Also out there, Norris Board Jr. And Jalen Subject, 4.42 to go in this ball game. Colts down by 11, 73-62. Are we ready? I think we are. The bounce pass to Faulkner. They'll get it to Taylor. Dante gets it over to McCurdy. Back over to Taylor. Dante breaks the pressure, gets it ahead. To Faulkner, back out it goes. Dante Taylor. He works it left side. They'll look inside, try to get it to Hudson. He saves it inbounds to, jo to Hill, or rather Jones, I should say. <laughs> Matt Jones with a basket. That play was made possible by an outstanding job by Hudson down low. Save that ball inbounds. Shot no good, Pioneers have it back. On top, 75-62. 
Four minutes to go in the ball game. Taylor working out there against A.J. Lewis. Now fire it out front, get it to Faulkner. Faulkner working against Darrell Reese, or to, uh, against uh, Weeks, Jordan Weeks. Blocked from behind. A.J. Lewis tried to block Matt Jones' shot. Lewis called for the foul. Matt's going to the free throw line. Jones, by the way, one out of two at the free throw line tonight. He's got a dozen points. Half of them in the first half, half of them in the second half. 3.46 to play in this game. He can add that North Arc 13 point lead, and he does. 76 62. A.J. Lewis coming out, checking back at his place. It'll be Eli Hill. Second shot up and in. Matt Jones. He's got 14. Colts trail by 15, 77, 62. Right side, Jalen Subject attacks. Trying to dump it down low. Coming away with it, Hudson. He gets it to McCurdy. McCurdy out in the open court. Resets the offense here. Under three and a half to play in the game. Pass, Matt Jones. He'll get it back out to McCurdy. McCurdy. To Jones, just outside the free throw line. Right side, eight seconds on the shot clock. Needs some help out there, he gets it to McCurdy. They'll get it way out front to Hudson. He'll fire up the off balance shot, can't get it to go. And because it did not catch any of the rib, that's a shot clock violation and the Colts get it back. Three minutes left in this game. Down by 15, 77-62. Colts get it in, Norris Bourne Jr. Looks like it's time to say goodbye to all our friends at Ashdown, the elementary school that came up tonight as a pass down low, shot put up and rejected by Jordan Weeks. McCurdy has it, George McCurdy the fourth. Gets it out, three pointer on the way by Hill, no. That rebound's tipped around, gonna be picked up by Eli Hill. Elijah gets it ahead to Kayvon Wally, right back to Eli inside the lane, working against Matt Jones. Get it out to Jordan Weeks, he'll take the three, it will not go, that rebound is gonna go out of bounds off of Hill. Colts really have to battle inside tonight. North Arc on top by 15, 77-62. 2.15 to go in the ball game. Dante Taylor working against Weeks. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, with a, apparently somebody, one well, of the students leave it out. It drops up on the court. And Kayvon Wally retrieved it for him. They stopped play. Going the extra mile for your fans. That's what that called, yeah. Well, it looks like uh, Jordan Weeks coming out along with Doris Board Jr., Jalen Subject, Kayvon Wally. And Eli Hill checking in will be Jordan Wright along with Easy and Joku, Jonathan Anderson, Ja'Cory Chapman, and Darrell Reese. Driving down low, they'll kick it back out. Turner has it, he fires it back right side to Taylor. Dante backs it back out again under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Taylor. Fires it inside, Hudson knows what to do with it. Goes up strong, shot is blocked. Out of bounds by Jordan Wright. JW's got at least three blocks tonight. And yeah, let's see here. Looks like uh, Turner's gonna come out of the lineup and checking it in his place will be Curtis Fowler. 77-62, Colts down by 15 with a minute 45 to play. Shot put up at the buzzer, up and in. Fowler on the alley-oop inbounds play. He's got six points. A minute 35 to play in the game. 
As Anderson shot. Draw some air. Then the Pioneers have it back. Taylor with it. Dante working over on the left side. Gets it in the hands of Hudson. Back to Taylor. Drives through. Lays it up. Can't get it to go. There's Jordan Wright with a rebound. He'll fire up the three. No. That rebound's going to be pulled down by Hudson and the Pioneers. One minute to play the ball game. As the Colts going to come up short tonight against a really good Pioneers basketball team. North Arc going, going for the basket. Fowler went for it. He's going to be fouled in the act of shooting. Uh, Darrell Reese. Reese's first personal foul at the free throw line. Will be Curtis Fowler. Fowler, two out of four at the free throw line tonight. Actually, two out of five. Three out of six now. He's got seven points in the ball game. He'll trail it 80 to 62. Ed coming out of the lineup. Will be Hudson. Checking it in his place will be Newton. 53.3 to go in this game. Second shot by Fowler. No good. And easy Njoku comes down the court with it. Actually, that's Jacory Chapman. He gives it to Njoku over on the left wing. And Newton trying to go for the steal. Going to be called for the personal foul. Newton call for the foul. That will be his second. And the Colts will have it across the way. As Anderson will put the, the, the ball in play. Gets it into Chapman. Chapman pulls up for three-point land. Can't get it to go. Jordan Turner grabs that rebound. Pioneers have it. Half a minute to play. As they'll pick up the conference victory. Taylor underneath, gave it underneath that is, to uh, Fowler. And Jordan Wright lost the handle on it when he banged it on the floor. Went way at sky high. He was scared he was going to get a technical, but so uh, it looks like uh, Wright picks up a personal foul. I think that's his second tonight. At the free throw line is Fowler. And Curtis Fowler now has eight points. Second shot's on the way by Fowler. Off the front of the iron, no good. The rebound comes off to Jordan Wright. Jordan gets it ahead to, Jacor to uh, Jonathan Anderson. Lays it off the glass and good. From outside the lane. Anderson gets his first two of the night. Colts down by 17, 81-64. Five seconds, four seconds, and that's going to do it. Final score, North Arc 81, Colts 64. We'll be back to wrap this one up in a moment on NADA Radio. It is time for the final question. Who has offered the Rogers rates? Jacob State Farm, basically anyone. Sorry, buddy, that's incorrect. <laughs> See? We offer great rates that fit anyone's budget. That's enough. Thank you very much. Jessica in the middle. You said me? No. <laughs> what are we doing? Whatever. Also me. Great LOL. That was really important. Of course. Everybody gets the rates, I guess. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Your local State Farm insurance agent in DeQueen is Luke Billingsley, 870-642-2157. Final score, North Arc wins it by a score of 81-64 as uh, a couple of players for North Arc leading the way. It was uh, George McCurdy the fourth and Jacob Hudson each with 20 points tonight for the Pioneers. 14 points for Matt Jones. Looks like eight points tonight for Curtis Fowler. Six points each for uh, Ja'Carri Newton and Jordan Turner. Four points in the ball game for Dante Taylor. 
Meanwhile, three points in the ball game for uh, Caleb Faulkner, who hit a three tonight. Meanwhile, the Colts, they were led by Norris Bourne Jr. He wound up with 18 points, all of them, from beyond the three-point arc. Had three threes in the first half, three in the second. 16 points tonight for Kayvon Wally. 11 points for uh, Elijah Hill, uh, as the Colts had three players in double figures. Looks like nine points tonight for Jordan Weeks. Four points each for Ja'Cory Chapman and Jalen Subject. Two points tonight for Jonathan Anderson and one point each for Darrell Reese and Andre Lewis Jr. Again, the Colts uh, come up short tonight. Good job tonight, Chevy. Chevy on the camera tonight. She did great. We'll do it again sometime, right? All right. Meanwhile, the uh, Lady Colts also coming up short tonight, losing to uh, North Arc by a final score of 72-59. to Now, the uh, Colts and Lady Colts will both be in action again on Saturday. They'll be traveling down to uh, Camden to take on SAU Tech for a pair of uh, conference games. And uh, uh, you can catch all the action. If you can't be there at the ball game, you can catch all the action on ed88radio.com. Well, I want to thank all of our sponsors tonight. Uh, thanks to uh, uh, them, we're able to do what we do. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you again next time on ed88radio.com.